What is up, guys? Floodmon. 14 here. And uh, fun fact, I just woke up. <laughs> oh, yeah, 14 here. here. And uh, fun fact. Guys, let me mute myself on my own stream. Let's tweet this out right away. Oh, yeah. So, uh, man, what a night. Yeah, last night I... Uh, I don't know if I should. Yeah, yeah. So I had this weird dream. Um, it's very strange the dream I had. So I dreamt there were like four stalks of corn. You know what I mean? Like a, uh, you guys know, uh, you know, like like corn. You know, not like rows of corn. Four like individual stalks. Um, pretty weird dream. Uh, one of the stalks was on fire. One was like iced over. Like. The one that was iced over was right next to the one that was on fire. But yet, despite being on fire, the one stalk that was on fire, it didn't, like, you know, burn up. It was weird. Same for the one that was iced over. It didn't, like, just ice over and die, you know, later in the dream. And then one was, you know, perfectly healthy. And then one stalk of corn was rotting. So. And it was weird. It was It was like a time-lapse dream. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had those kind of dreams. But like the what I describe as a time lapse stream is basically like um oh let me move there we go that may be a little oh I should probably also open my All right, that should put a little more. Here, let's check the the light. Uh, but yeah, time lapse stream. Yeah, that does look like a little more light, which is more light. Uh, because it is a little dark in here this morning. Uh, but yeah, yeah, a time lapse stream. What's a time lapse stream? Well, uh, the like what I describe it as is like basically like, basically like you know how I described everything and like everything set you know. Perfectly healthy, rotting, yeah, rotting, ice, fire. That that was the order. A time lapse dream is basically like you're looking at this, you know, you're looking at this visual, and then basically like years start to pass by, like tens of years, hundreds of years, thousands of years, millions of years. And what's weird is after the, uh, I don't know the exact amount of time that passed by, but I did just kind of. You know, my dream kind of, you know, had numerous people walking by to look at the corn. Yeah, I mean, because who wouldn't? Like, the main attraction, of course, was the corn that was on fire, but that didn't, like, become cinders over, like, tens of years, over over hundreds of years. That was the main attraction. Um, yet, even the rotting stalk of corn, which is weird. This is the weirdest part of the dream, is that the stalk of corn that was rotting was still there even at the same time as the perfectly healthy corn you know after a thousand years after the time lapse you know dream so that was pretty weird also the fact that the ice the iced over corn survived that long is also kind of weird <laughs> you know, it's just a weird dream and then you know you just see like plenty of people you know, come by and visit, you know, at some point, um, members of my family came by and they said some things about, you know, the corn and stuff. It's pretty weird, you know, and by family, I mean, like even family that's passed away. So pretty weird dream. Um, yeah. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> I don't really know what to think of that one. I'm still like trying to remember certain facets of the dream. Cause I just woke up, but that was one for the record books. That's a weird one. That was a weird one. So, what's the dream mean? I mean, I'll th I'll think a little more about it. You know, you know, some dreams have pretty deep meaning, and you should look into them. You know, probably just for your own. You know. 
because uh, your subconscious is kind of trying to warn you about something. Uh, some dreams, yeah, you know, <laughs> just like you dream you're in the middle of a cookie cake. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it means that you like cookie cake. It's sometimes that simple, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, all right, so um, let me share here that I'm going to be streaming in Master Duel on this Discord server. And yeah, we are going to boot that up as soon as I share this. And oh yeah, I need to mute. I need to mute everything. You know, Discord, Chrome. Yeah, I tend to check on stuff when I, I uh. Yeah, what a weird dream, huh? <laughs> really weird. Oh. Okay. I did just wake up, and my computer similarly just woke up. Like, literally, I woke up, and I started streaming, so. Uh, oh, I should probably comb my hair. Yeah, so I can I can start I can start doing that I can start looking professional while we're uh yeah but uh yeah I hope you guys are doing great um I'll probably pause this vod right away and like in general I just hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, yeah that's the uh you know um if I do just decide to record Duelist of the Roses which I might tonight as well um or any other game I think what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll end stream at the part of the Master Duel VOD, because I want the, this Master Duel VOD to go up today. We're doing some of the Fusion versus XZ festival, so, um, you know, more with the Ninja deck, so that ought to be fun. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I'll probably stop the VOD for Master Duel. Hey, Tim, remind me. Yeah, remind me to stop the VOD for Master Duel, and then, uh, you know, start a new one if I do, like, let's say... Uh, uh, duels of the roses, or what? Maybe we'll do roses. Maybe something else. Yeah, and um, let me say at the start of this stream, since this one is going to go up today, on Friday, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Uh, so I looked at the uh, subscriber count this morning, and we are indeed at 250 subs, so, and I've said so in several recent videos, but hey, you guys are awesome. You guys uh, who are watching the YouTube VOD right now, and uh, helping me on YouTube, subscribing on YouTube, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Like, it's crazy, man. Like, we were at... Uh, you were, we were at like 150 ish. You know, we were in the low 150s, uh, not even two months ago, like in right around Fourth of July. Uh, so, but yeah, yeah, you guys are you guys are awesome. You guys are rocking it, and yeah, I appreciate it. Like, I, it really does help. It helps out quite a bit. Helps us get to you know eventually, maybe someday we'll be monetized, and you know, yeah, that'll give me a little more free time. I can go from full time to part time. And record more content for you guys. You know, as far as my day job, you know, don't quit your day job. So, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So let's, uh, yeah. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. And uh, I mean, the numbers are going up thanks to you all. And um, because I, I'm not doing anything different. I, I, you know, <laughs> I feel really humble and I feel really just grateful. Uh, you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm even going to type it here in chat because you guys are awesome. Uh, you type my YouTube channel. YouTube.com. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to 250 subs. Morning. <laughs> Not possible without all of you yeah thank you so much <laughs> there we go yeah so that's that's really just what i want to say just thank you and i just feel just i feel the love i feel the love i feel uh 
like humble. I, I don't know. I feel, I feel great. You know, it's, it's awesome. Um, and you know, we want to see the channel go in a, you know, in a growing direction in an upward direction. So this is good. This is really good. Um, all right. And, um, there are several things I, um, yeah, I wanted to do for you guys. Uh, by the way, uh, if you're watching this Twitch VOD, uh, feel free to head over to my YouTube and like, you don't have to subscribe or anything, but I left like a community poll. Um, like the main thing about the poll, let me start master door while I talk about this. The main thing about the poll is, yeah, yeah. What LP should I do next? Um, yeah, so I just left it in the community tab. Um, and that's pretty easy to access. You just click over to community and the poll should be right there. Um, and like the options I left were like, oh, what should I LP next? You know, Yu-Gi-Oh game. Yeah, that's probably what's going to get picked. Um, <laughs> I've already let me preface this like I'm going to pick the Yu-Gi-Oh game and it's one that's not very popular. You know, it's kind of it's short. You know, it's uh, but anyway, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh option A option B Pokemon. Option C, I think I put Mario. Option D is like a new game. And like for you Twitch viewers, I know you guys love new games. And by new, I mean, you know, made after 2018 or newer. That's that's new. That's the new. Welcome to the new age. To the new age. Welcome, welcome, new age. To the new age. Whoa, uh, uh, oh. Whoa, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Ready to rock you. Ready to, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's option D, and then option E was like, I don't know, flood. You decide, you know. So, <laughs> which um, it's kind of weird. Like, I don't even have a set decision in my head. The I don't know, you flood. You decide. I don't know the well. The LP would be short. The LP would be very very short. Um, well, would it? Maybe it wouldn't. Maybe it'd be a very long LP, like Final Fantasy VIII. Which we're already doing. We're already, you know. Um, you know, I probably should have put also for the options. I probably should have put, you know, return to an old LP. Huh. Well, you know, guys, I didn't put that option, but that is option F officially. If you want me to return to an old LP, you know, and you like watch this VOD, you watch this VOD. Just, um, yeah, comment on that um, community tab and just say, hey, um, I'm voting for option F. And then leave the name of the old LP, the old forgotten LP you want me to return to. Like, oh, hey, I want you to return to Soul Calibur. I want you to return to uh, uh, Sapphire Randomizer or something. <laughs> I want you to return to, you know, Legacy of the Duelist. I haven't seen that in a while. You're like, okay. You know, like, oh, okay. Okay. You know, um, yeah, yeah, that is an option. F, option, well, let me do it backwards. F, I'm trying to work on my Twitch because the camera is like inverted, as I'm sure you guys know. Yeah, option F. That looks like an F. Yeah, yeah. Is uh yeah, return to an old, forgotten. Yeah, F for forgotten. <laughs> yeah, let's play. So, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is an option. I'm officially making it an option in this video. Um. So yeah, just leave a comment, or you can leave a comment actually on any video and just say, hey, option F. And then leave the name of the LP you want me to return to. You know, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Um, and then if it's not possible, like if, I, if I've literally lost the, the save data, which has actually happened in like three of the LPs, um, then I will tell you. I will straight up answer, uh, sorry, but I can't, you know, physically do that. I literally do not have the save data. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Pretty exciting though. 250. 250. Nice. Love you guys. I love you guys. Where's the heart? Oh, here we go. Here's the heart. Yeah. <laughs> I happen to be wearing the heart, so. Love you guys. Mm, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's it, it's a, it's a nice feeling. It really is. It really is. I think we have Master Duel booted up here now, so let's uh, go to the dailies. Let's see what our dailies are. 
Ritual summon, exceed a monster three times. Oh, that's easy. Special summon five, that's easy. Win a duel, ooh, not that. <laughs> it's kind of hard. We only have to win one, but still. Um, yeah, I might have said this, but ninjas aren't the best, you know, deck for the festival. They're definitely not. But they are fun to use, and they allow me to uh, quote Naruto a lot. So that part I like, you know. Believe it! You know, <laughs> behind you, believe it! So, yeah. <laughs> your carelessness is your arrogance, Soul Reaper, which dares to challenge the Uchiha. <laughs> I don't even know if my uh, Itachi's coming through. It's probably not. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, why is it the start menu coming up? Uh, hang on. Hit this. Yeah, I can hit this on the keyboard if I need to. Oh, there's my, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, there's my headphone. Oh, yeah, by the way, something else that happened. Uh, I need to take my glasses to the repair shop, because look, look at my glasses. <laughs> yeah, you see the frames? Ooh, you know. I don't know if they'll be able to fix that or not, but for, for today, I'm wearing the backup frames, which, you know. Oh, something funny I thought of, which is actually a good solution for myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, if they're not able to fix this frame, like let's say this part pops off and like breaks, I could actually just take, well, not only tape the frame right there uh, temporarily, but I can actually take, because um, these are actually stronger. The prescription on these are both newer and stronger. So something I could do, which would be very helpful to me, is actually take the Take the old frame from that, from these, the one that, you know, needs repair, and then tape it to this, because that would honestly help me, like, a lot, 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 so, something to keep in mind, um, let me go here, <laughs> all right, and then we, oh, we're already on Master Duel Suite, so let me just hit the done button, done, okay, then let me, yep, wait for that to go through. Switch to the gameplay. There we go. All right, looking good. And then I think we're good. So those are our dailies. Uh, exceeds three. Special summon five. Win a duel. Not bad. Log in. And there we go. I guess I could switch the category. Hang on. Let me. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I did just wake up, guys. So bear with me here. Um. Yeah, I can switch the category from, if it'll let me, um, from Duelist of the Roses. Uh, we will probably play some ranking challenge later, but, you know, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so let's type in, um, oops, uh, Y. Uh, there we go, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Okay, and then we'll try it. Sometimes this doesn't update, sometimes it does. Um, oh, it did update, sweet, okay. Okay, that's what I like to see. All right, all right. And then uh, I just need to check my own audio, which I do have a tab open. And video. <laughs> Remember that one stream? <laughs> Remember that one stream, guys? I recorded, like, all that audio in the entire time. The video was not going to... I, I, for the life of me... And that was, like, a three-hour stream, too. I can't believe I did that. But it's funny. I'm actually using that VOD because I talked about... Some important things for the YouTube channel in that same VOD. Uh, so I'm actually using that VOD and um, I'm editing it over there with Tim and uh, we got something special coming up for you there. So, <laughs> but yeah, ever since then I'm like, oh boy, you know, check my own, you know, <laughs> yeah, but that but do. Uh, let's, you know, check my own, you know, <laughs> yeah, but that but do. Okay, okay, audio sounds fine. Um, <clears throat> A little mute here. Uh, yeah, the deck we're playing is ninjas. So <laughs> let's see. So let's just type that in chat. We're playing uh, ninjas in the festival today. So there you go. You know, if you like ninjas, there you go. If you don't, well, I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, whoops. You know, <laughs> this is not a branded fusion turbo uh, <laughs> kind of. Uh, Kind of thing now we got all the rewards here right let me just double check doesn't hurt to double check yes we did we did so uh, i actually prefer this festival this festival is a lot of fun monster type festival king of the island this is the one i prefer but you know the one we need rewards in is obviously you know right here so 
Yeah, let's just go to the fusion versus exceeds. Uh, what should I make the gold today? Well, we're at uh, we're at twenty five fifty uh, medals. Let's try to get here, you know, to the two hundred. But realistically, you know, after two hours, we'll probably be about here at the four thousand. Now, something funny somebody pointed out to me. Um, one of my <laughs> one of my long term uh, YouTube viewers. They pointed out that I should play this card. Check it out. Oh yeah, yeah, it's Chthonian Palmer. Activate only when your opponent fusion summons. Tribute one monster. Take control of that fusion monster. Yeah, I use this in a lot of my like anti fusion decks, and you know it's pretty, you know, good. So, and now for the tribute fodder, we'll include like uh yeah, escape ghost as well as scapegoat but uh yeah so i will take out quite a few cards for this but uh i'll probably even take out debunk as much as i love it um but yeah pretty good um so um also let me save this real quick uh that's fine let me see if the ninja pack is still available um because i know i had unlocked the secret pack if it is i'll buy like a few more of the ninja pack if it's not, which it may not be, that's fine. Um, doesn't look like it is. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> if it's not, I will craft another ninja card. So let's go to my deck. Um, let's go here. Oops. Oh, this is just a structure. Okay. Let's go here. Uh, yeah, someone pointed out that I probably should craft another one of Mizen, which, yeah, I kind of agree. Uh, we do need two SR material, which is fine, and I'm willing to do that. Um, just for a little more stun, let's include another clear world. <laughs> there we go. And, oh, right, I need to take cards out. So let's take out some cards that aren't really too useful. Well, they are, but they're kind of, you know... I do hope to pull out the Abiso and Go Go Gallant combo, but not yet. Uh, White Ninja is also pretty, you know. Yeah. Uh, same for Penguin Ninja. As much as I like the combo, I think Chthonian Palmer is just funnier. So, um, also, I could include a Super Poly target of my own. So let's let's see if I have this card, Starving Venom. Uh, I do not. But I could craft this as well, just for a super poly target. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Um, but yeah, someone pointed out that I actually don't have too many super poly targets. But uh, yeah, I should think about including it. I think the one I do have is Guardian Chimera. So... There we go. So yeah. Um, and then... I will include... Um, exchange is just funny. Uh, right. I also forgot to include the other art of alchemy. So, alchemy. There we go. And boom. There we go. All right. And with that being said, maybe another clear world. Yeah. Do I really need Fuma Shuriken? No. So, but clear world is pretty good. So, clear world. There we go. All right. And yeah, let's just roll with this. Um, I will probably craft. In fact, I think I, yeah, yeah. I should definitely craft the second duplication. So I should duplicate duplication. So let's do that right now. There we go. So, and then I'll type in duplication. This card's just too good. I'm sorry. Um, so, yep, duplication. I guess, you know. Shadow ceiling is uh, it's it's okay you know it's not it's not like a perfect card but it's you know it is what it is and there we go and then we'll save that and that'll be the goal is we get like two more SR we open the ninja pack then craft uh yeah yeah Mizen and it's just like well you could buy another copy of the structure deck yeah that's true but you know I think I'll just craft one um yeah you know <laughs> so that way we can buy stuff from the pack because there is stuff from the pack that we want that uh yeah 
So, anyway, let's go here to the festival. And here we go. So, all right, let's duel. Um, I'm going to get my water right there. But uh, yeah, 250 subscribers. You guys rock, man. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Hey. And while they uh, do a 20 minute combo, I'm just gonna kinda show my hair. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and with the Chithonian Palmer, um, you guys can see, like, I'm obviously running kind of a stun strategy, so I definitely want to go first, if at all possible. So. Alrighty, our turn. Uh, what do we have here? All right, we have Kagero. Um, I don't have any other ninjas, but you know, um, hmm. I guess I'll go with the Summon Breaker. Yep, and then we'll go Kagero. All right, we'll attack with Kagero. See what happens. All right little bit of damage and let's just set this card <laughs> pretty pretty straightforward turn and win the turn all right let's see what happens here <clears throat> nice crusadia avramax avatar i like that that looks pretty cool uh what is this fusion heresy what's going on here hmm. interesting never seen this card before it's an SR though that's cool alright we drew a brick um, this is just a warrior right yeah yeah I was thinking I was like oh man could I have went into the fusion no no it has to be different types ninjas with different types so Let's see, um, that is the requirement, right? Yeah, ninjas with different types. Yes, I'm getting used to this deck, honestly. And it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So this deck almost seems like an STK. I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just someone like learning the loner or something. Okay, that seems like a pretty good card. Kinka Bio, what the? Oh. Oh. Wait, why didn't they summon Kinka Bio? Huh? Oh. Sorry. Well, one for one is pretty good, yeah. Huh, one for one. Hmm. Well, we're definitely up against like an Exceeds deck, I would think. Well, then again, there are a lot of level one. Level one strategies that fusion. Wait, are they playing Lyralisk? Oh no, okay, okay. Huh. This card special summon. And... Oh no, this is a fusion deck. Interesting. Well, that's the end of their turn, thanks to a summon breaker, so. Um, it, this is interesting. I guess they'll be able to fuse. Unfortunately for them, we've got the one counter that works. So, yeah. Let's see what they fuse into here. Interesting. This should be this should be interesting. Um, whoa. What is that? 
Huh. Oh. Wait, why wasn't I able to play Chthonia and Palmer there? I don't know, but, um... Huh. Interesting. Um... Ooh. 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 Okay. I summon Armor Breaker. Oh, wow. I never thought this effect would come up, but, uh, yeah. I equip it to Kagero right here. Okay, and then we will just, yeah, attack. Uh, go, Kagero. Attack this card. And he inflicted battle damage, which should activate Armor Breaker. So now... Huh. Wow. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of this card. Amazing. The Synergy, dude. Armor Breaker. Thank you. Wow, I never thought that effect would come up. But, uh, armor breaker too strong? Question, question mark? Question mark? Out here winning games? No way, dude. Oh, it is a lyriless deck. Wait, why didn't they grab a lyriless monster with one for one? Sorry. What's happening here? Um, oh, it was Swallow's Nest the whole time, huh? Okay. <laughs> What's weird is I could have I could have sniped that out with arm arm ninja. Pretty funny, yeah. Uh, no need to do that though. So are they gonna OTK us? Well, it's liverless, so yeah, probably. <laughs> yep, yep, probably, man, probably. Huh? Yeah, you know, I was thinking, oh, it's liverless when I saw the one for one, but like, what? I don't know. The good part is we have summon breakers, so... Yeah, how are they going to combo with only three summons? I don't know. That's, uh... Yeah. How are they going to do that? I I guess we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh... Yeah. You know... Because they still haven't done anything to pop Summon Breaker, so... Yeah, Battle Phase? Oh, okay, yeah, the workaround. Then you get... <laughs> <laughs> there it is, guys. There's the scoop. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, that was uh, Branded Lyralisk. I hope you enjoyed that one. Wow, that was... It seems like they were getting used to their deck, though. I'll be honest. Or that they bricked? Yeah, I... And I saw the I saw the Kinka Bio combo, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Seems like they were trying something very unique with the Kinka Bio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the this is the combo. Kinka Bio. Play Parasite. Parasite goes into this, and then you just um yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Whenever a fusion synchro, let's see. Yeah, quick effect. You can negate that effect, then return. Yeah, and if you return an exceeds monster from the field to the hand, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, during your opponent's turn. Oh, I see. I see. But they actually don't have the Fallen of Albaz. This is li literally just used for control, which I kind of like. I kind of like that. That's awesome. Rin Broom, the Striking Dragon. And the way they made it is, uh, I think that Bio is a wing beast, right? Oh, no, it's a beast. And, well, Fusion Parasite can be used as a substitute. So the way they made it is... Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's one Tri-Brigade type plus Fallen of Alba. The Fallen of Alba. And this is a Tribe type. So it can also be made with any of the Lyralisk parts. And then, yeah, that's actually pretty good. That's actually really good. But the, the hard part is... This card says... If this card is special summoned, except during the damage step. Yeah, that is a hard condition, but uh, it works, you know, so. And that's what they have the one of poly for. I actually like it. I actually like this deck. This is like, this isn't Lyralisk OTK. It's Lyralisk Inca Bio Control with Fusion Parasite. I actually like it. You know, I, I rag on Lyralisk players a lot mainly due to the monster type festival and all the OTKs. 
But this is actually a unique take. Like, like it's it's literally a really good, thoughtful, insightful, unique take. You know, of course they have the swallow's nest to draw to, the slower swallow. But you know, this is actually pretty unique, and I like it. You know, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, ten out of ten, ten out of ten. Um, Crusadia Avermax, great deck, great deck. Thank you, thank you for the content. <laughs> So, all right, let's see if we have any dailies done there. Um, I did destroy some cards, so maybe. Um, win a duel, right? We got that daily done. Okay. okay, that's cool. But yeah, yeah, that was actually a little bit of a different style of... Uh, I like it, I like it. So. All right, uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Oh, nice, a new mate. And uh, Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. Interesting. I prefer Trishula, you know, it just says the, you know, and the avatar I have, I like, you know, <laughs> I don't even know who this is, this, this avatar right here. I just like the artwork, you know, so. the design's good. Um, let's check the stream here. Make sure I'm not missing any comments. Sometimes the comments will pop up over here. One thing I have learned is sometimes the comments will pop up on the top left, and sometimes they won't. You know, you you really want to check every now and then. All right. Uh, one good thing I will say. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you guys might have noticed the duels launched right away, which, <laughs> if you watched any any of the vods, that doesn't always happen. But like some, a lot of times we'll have to you know restart the game. Uh, but yeah, for whatever reason. The first duel launched right away, so that's a good, that's a good. Hey, I'm all, I'm all for that. You know, the less problems for me, the better. Uh, and honestly, it means there's more content for you guys on stream. So, yeah. all right. Ah, uh, well, looking a lot like last duel. Let's just go with the Summon Breaker. Should I play Exchange? You know, I probably should, honestly. Uh, sure, you know what? My hand sucks. So let's set two. <laughs> let's set two. Now I activate the magic card Exchange. With this, I can take one card you've got, and I'll take one of yours. Ooh, a burn decky. <laughs> well, well, I'll take this card from you. Uh, Blazing Mirror Force. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you can take my Earth Armor Ninja. Nice to know what kind of deck we're going up against. And with that, I'll end my turn. <laughs> oh man, Exchange is so good. Now, now I know not to attack. <laughs> it's like, what's the point? Don't attack, don't activate effects. Easy. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. <laughs> uh. And their soul, so pretty easy, yeah. Pretty easy. Alright, end of main phase. So now, uh, in phase, we want to activate this, so... There we go. Activate. And I will set. Do, 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 do. The Almighty. Let's see. I will set. But oh, we have a. Don't I have transformation? Oh, dude. That is my bad. I could have, like. Shotgun this and then shotgun this and then went into Dark Samor. Wow, that is a whoops E on my part. But I will play Black Dragon Ninja. And then Yeah, well maybe I'll play this. Getsuga. Um Getsuga does not have a flip effect. Hmm. Wait, what type is this? Ooh, Jiho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go with Jiho. Very good. Alright. <clears throat> Draw. 
their world. <laughs> Funny. All right. Well, G O. With this, I will end the turn. <laughs> It's funny, their deck requires me to like do stuff. You know, if I don't do anything, they can't, they, well, they can do stuff, but like 90% of what they've got face down there is reactive. So, you know, <laughs> I'm just chilling, man. I'm chilling. So, there we go. Alchemy, good. All right. And I will pass. <laughs> This is going to be a long duel, guys. Mainly because I'm not walking into their minefield back there. So, long duel, guys. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, this this is fair Yu-Gi-Oh! As intended by Kazuki Tagahashi. Yeah, and you know, we do have Feather Duster in the deck. So, I don't want to discount that. Um, so. Right? Yeah. Okay, I'll set this. Pass. Now, they probably have Lava Golem, so maybe I shouldn't have said an extra monster, but eh, it's okay. okay. I'm not too afraid of their strategy. They didn't have Lava Golem when I... Yeah, yeah, they don't. They don't. So. Alright. Draw. Super Poly. Hmm. Oh, I can play that now, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I do have two ninjas with different types. So, you know, maybe. Maybe that effect comes up. Maybe it doesn't. I, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Also, I do have to watch out for sphere mode. That's that's a valid concern in this kind of deck. So. Yeah, sphere mode's actually really good in this festival. Because, yeah, you don't normally have a way to link it away. So, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. So, yep, sphere mode is good. All right. The Mitsu. Okay. It's just something I got to watch out for. Now, this card. Hmm. Special summon it. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure I should do that. But I will end my turn here. I'll think about some combos here. Um, because we definitely have some. Yeah. Hmm. Right. There's that option too. Uh, the problem is I know they I know their first four set so yeah and one of them is uh, mirror force so that's kind of a problem you know but uh, yeah their decks all reactive <laughs> I think our win condition is just deck out we just we just draw and pass for 30 turns and yeah like like legit our win condition is indeed deck out uh, what's this do? Right, they're not going to have any monsters in their grave. Well, they have one monster. Sure. Why not? And I'll end the turn there. Uh, you know, something I should keep in mind. You know, Summon Breaker obviously isn't doing anything. But one thing that I will keep in mind is a lot of burn decks do use fire uh, types. So, you know... At some point, Clear World is a clear consideration. Um, yeah, because, like, yeah, if they have a face-up fire monster, I can actually, you know, actively burn them. The problem is their burn cards are reactive, but by playing a uh, Clear World, yeah, I can actually create a situation to where the their timer speeds up you know the, but right now we're both just kind of drawing cards drawing fuel for the fire so to speak we'll see we'll see you know the other funny thing about exchange that i never realized is that yeah with super poly if i give them like a good ninja then i can super poly it <laughs> that's pretty funny you know into some of my best cards i mean for other duels for like you know so 
This duel's pretty interesting, though, yeah. It's pretty obvious they want me to just step into the entire minefield, which I'm not going to do it. The biggest threat is probably, you know, Lava Golem. I'm assuming they have it. Um, it's just, you know, what am I going to do about it when they summon it? Well, I'll show you guys. I, I have a plan. I have a plan for when they summon it. Um, for now, let's just end the turn. Yeah. Yeah. To, our win condition is deck out, like literally, literally. That's the win condition right now. Now, do they have other burn cards besides the one we 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 seen? Definitely, yeah, they definitely do. Now, are they reactive or proactive? I don't know. Maybe they have like wave motion cannon. That's a pretty common burn card. Um, maybe it's just at the bottom of their deck. You know, it wouldn't shock me. You know, to see wave motion cannon. I mean, that's you know, eight hundred burn. That's that's fine. That's whatever. Um, not worried about that in the slightest. This might even be like Dice Jar. I, c I could see that, you know, or, you know, yeah. They could even have Secret Barrel, whatever. You know, it's it's fine. Self-Destruct Ants. That's fine. You know, that's whatever. So, yeah. Not too worried about that at all. So, there's that in phase. All right, we draw Jetonian Palmer, sure. Uh, you know, there are some fusion monsters that uh, do burn. So you know what? As odd as this may seem, I will set this card. Here we go. And I will pass. So obviously I'm not going to play Blazing Mirror Force at this point. Uh, the burn damage only helps them, you know, for their win condition. So... You know, no need to play that. Um, you know, so. Yeah, and they have seven unknown cards. These are all known. All the ones on the field are, like, known quantities. Like, that's the nice part about exchange is, like, yeah, I, I already know what they're up to. So, all right, there's all their poisons. Um, that is interesting. They drew the three of within... Wow, like 14 cards. That's that's pretty impressive. Um, so, yeah, there's that. <laughs> it's at times like this, I wish I had Gogo uh, or like uh, Abisu still in the deck. But, uh, yeah. Uh, again, I don't think I'll set a third monster. Oh, was that Iga? Hang on. I think that's Iga. Um, oh, <laughs> it is Iga. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, let me type this in. Uh, good morning. <laughs> um, yeah, I got, I thought you were streaming. How's it going? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, we're up against a, uh, I used, uh, to explain this duel. I got, if you're, if you're listening, I used exchange first turn and I saw mirror force, Poison of the Old Man, Grave Digger's Trap Hole, Toll, and um, yeah, Blazing Mirror Force, which we stole. <laughs> we stole. So basically, they're playing Reactive Burn, and like all we're doing, our win condition is deck out because look, they're down to twenty six cards. We've got forty four. So yeah, like literally, the strategy here is just we just draw and pass. It's very easy. Um, you know. I've already kind of postulated to chat. Like, I think they probably have, like, wave motion cannon. Or they have, like... They may even have, um... What do you call it? Um, a lot of burn decks will run, you know, secret barrel and secret blast. But if they do have it, it's at the bottom of the deck. It's just, like, they cannot draw it. So, uh, our win condition is, number one, hope they don't have the good cards. And number two, deck out. So... Yeah, because if I try to do anything, they're just going to, you know, obviously I do have like Duster and some other stuff, but, you know, I know not to step into any of this. So, Tremendous Fire. Okay, okay, okay. So, they do have other burn cards besides Poison of the Old Man. Okay. Yeah, they, maybe they do. Maybe they have a Hinotama and Sparks. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I, I don't know. I don't know. So. Uh, but anyway, good to see you, Iga. Uh, I think she is streaming. And uh, yeah, just hope your stream goes good and you have a good day. So, all right. There we go. All right. Um, and yeah, I'm not even worried about Toll. 
So I will discard uh, Arm Ninja here. So here we go. Discard for hand size. <laughs> Discard for hand size. Heck yeah. I definitely want to keep the zone open. So, <laughs> But yeah, this is a weird one. Um, you know, I probably could play it better. Um, but I just want to see. Like, honestly, at this point, we're down to turn, you know, 24. I really just want to see, like, do they have enough fuel, you know, without me stepping into toll... Uh, mirror force, etc. Do they have enough fuel for the for the fire, preferably? Uh, the reason I'm not <laughs> too maxi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured they had hand traps too, but yeah. The other reason I'm not doing anything is because you know, like for example, I could be su summoning and stuff, but like no, they, they have maxi, they have ash, you know. Yeah, I I don't think they have enough fuel, honestly. I really don't. Um. If they do, and also I think a lot of their cards are at the bottom of the deck. Like, that's that's pretty obvious. Yeah, so. Pretty funny. Um, you know what? Sure, I will tribute set Earth Armor Ninja. <laughs> just to keep them guessing. Just to keep them guessing, you know. Uh, there is one pretty good tribute set that uh, we definitely want. But um, we're not going to, nope, we're not going to do anything because they've got like Gravekeeper's Trap Holes and, you know, basically we don't want to do them any favors. So, <laughs> oh man, this duel's hilarious, man. Oh man. All right. So, and we're still good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just checking on stream and stuff. Yeah. This is a weird one, chat. This is going to be like looking back at the YouTube VOD. This is going to be, oh, by the way, my voice feels a lot better so today. So, man, this is going to be a weird one to look back on. I guess I guess while they're taking all day, <laughs> they discarded Blazing Mirror. <laughs> I think they realized, like, yeah, that's not going to work on me. What is this? I've never seen this card before. Um, Echi Kaibe. Oh. Uh, ooh. Huh. Well, okay. I will set a field spell. That's right. <laughs> and in my turn, that's that's how you really keep them guessing. I will set a field spell. <laughs> All right. I guess in the meantime, while the, while we're just decking them out, I can kind of take care of my hair here. Yeah, because I just I just woke up. So. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Trap trick. <laughs> oh, man. Fusion substitute. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, that's fine. Uh, we'll discard that. We'll discard that. What I like about that is that eventually helps us to draw a card. So, yep. Uh, are they thinking on end phase? Oh, no. Okay. So, I'll discard. Fusion sub. Mm-hmm. There we go. All right. Oh, man. That hurt. Oh, they're doing something. <laughs> Magical cylinders. Yeah, sure. Thin your deck more. <laughs> I wasn't going to attack any. <laughs> Magical cylinders. Oh, man. They're gaming now, chat. They're gaming now. So that was their unknown card, because they did draw a card for turn, and they just set, like, five and pass. So, oh, man, they've got the magic cylinders. I'm scared now, guys. Now, what's funny is, what's really, really funny is there are cards that force attacks. Are they playing them? Eh, I think they would have found one already. You know, like Battle Mania, et cetera, final attack orders. There are cards that, you know, make your opponent declare an attack like i said are they playing them probably not but uh you know you never know there goes dimension <laughs> oh man uh <clears throat> well there's that um let's just set this card now let's leave the zone open and i will discard uh crimson ninja yeah it doesn't do anything against this deck you would think this card would be really good Crimson Ninja, since it destroys traps, but no. They have Grave 
Grave Digger's trap hole, so it does nothing. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Deck out, deck out, deck out. Say it with me, chat. Deck out, deck out, deck out. That's right, you YouTube VOD watchers. We're on turn 32 and they're discarding Maxi. <laughs> oh man. I love this duel. I love it. Because we're going to see, we're going to see like in 19 turns, within 19 turns. Okay, do they have enough, you know, pure burn to win? Or no, you know, because I don't think they do. There's Dark Samorg, you know, which if I had an effect like Hey Trunade, uh, this game, this card wins the game. But I don't have that kind of effect. But what I am going to do is Tribute Set. So, because I do fear Lava Golem, so I'm actually going to Tribute, you know, this card and this card for Dark Samorg. <laughs> There we go. So what's funny is if they actually attacked with ants, they would, uh, yeah, they would, you know, they would win. But they probably won't do that. So, you know, there we go. And then, uh, yeah, I will end the turn. So, all right. That's right. No more lava golem for you. Aha. They're thinking about that cold by the grave. Oh, man. The third, the third Maxi. <laughs> what's nice is like now, yeah, what's that's kind of a bad decision by them as well. Because now if I wanted to just like Duster and, you know, special summon a bunch, I could do it, you know, and they can't draw cards. So that's, I don't know about that. Ooh, ooh, Shingetsu. Nice. Yeah, this card's pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. So I will, though, in my turn. And we'll get rid of flame. Yeah, we'll get rid of flame because its effect is mandatory. So, and we don't want to trigger it. So, all right. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> do 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 do. Ooh, an additional monster. That's cute. That's clever. Okay. You got me guessing now. I'm guessing it's just another uh, ant, you know. So. All right. Um, I will s end the turn. Just end the turn. I guess I'll keep Maxi, sure. Uh, let's discard. Discard. Because we don't need it. <laughs> All right. Turn 38. Here we go. All right. Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah. It is just an ant. You know, that's a thousand damage. That that matters. That matters for sure. That definitely matters. Um. That. All right. There goes magical cylinders. So you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's that. Oh, I have cl two clear worlds, so be clear what I should discard. So, yeah, I will, um, in phase, discard clear world. There we go. Alright. Hmm. I just wonder at some point are they going to be try to try to be desperate enough and attack? Probably not, but you know, we'll see. There goes magic soldier. <laughs> All right. Ooh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, this is the card I was waiting on, chat. This is the card I was waiting on. So, if we are gonna, um, yeah. We are going to do this. I'm going to set this right here. Just a little insurance policy. And, uh, yeah, we will end the turn right now. So there we go. All right. Do -do -do -do. Hey. All 
All right. I, I don't think they have it, chat. I don't think they have Lava Golem. They would have played it like so, so long ago. So, yeah, I really don't think they have it. Um, so, Yellow Ninja. Good, good. They did set a new face down, so I'm assuming they can play it right away. Um, maybe they do have sphere mode, though. You know what? I'm going to see if they do. Um, no, no, no. We've been on two monsters or less the whole duel. I trust my instincts on this one. So we'll get rid of... Um, oh, there's Zoma. Okay, that, that does something, actually. That's not bad. That's not bad. So there's Zoma. Interesting. I will discard uh, Shingetsu. Okay. Oh, wait. Well, I guess Zoma doesn't do anything because I can't destroy it in battle. So Well, I can, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Although, I don't know. Maybe they have Book of Taiyu. I mean, hey, you never know, man. They... <laughs> yeah, yeah, force this face up. And then, oh, clever. All right. Getting ready to attack, huh? Battle phase. Ooh, cute. I think I helped them out, though. Um, there's Toll. Um, nope. Well, there's that. Um, optional effect. Now, this is an optional effect, thank thankfully. So all I have to do is hit cancel. And then, you know, yeah. <laughs> You know, because obviously if I hit yes, they have Grave Digger's Trap Hole right there. So, yeah, just a little insurance policy, you know. So, all right. I am glad to see them starting to attack, though. That gives us a chance to make this pretty interesting. So, uh, yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There's Warrior returning alive. Okay. All right. All right, and this effect's optional too, right? It is, so I'll set Yellow Ninja right here. And in the turn, obviously we don't want to put anything in face-up attack because now that they have Zoma, um, yeah, it gives them more burn. So yeah, more burn potential. So I didn't even know if they have that in their deck, but the fact that they do, you know, just tells me like, yeah, don't do it. So, yep. And also, I don't think they have Lava Golem. Because if you do have Lava Golem, why would you put me down to just one monster? You know, that doesn't make sense. So, I'm like 99% sure they don't have Lava Golem. So, alright. Debunk. Ooh, very good card. Very good card. What I like about Debunk is it's a counter trap. Um, so, it can surpass a lot of things. Um, so, yeah. I will set Debunk for our final card uh, and then yes yeah, end the turn so there we go alright All right. guys I never thought we'd do it turn 48 new record <laughs> new, new personal record for us so <laughs> alright alright and there's the final you figured they had three of this. There's the final ant. Let's see if they have secret barrel. Because honestly, they should. Or secret blast. You know, a lot of burn decks play that combo. Maybe it's at the bottom of the deck? I don't know. <laughs> uh, there's Jogan. So that's pretty good. Unfortunately, our pendulum scales are taken. Also, they have all the reactive stuff. So, uh, yeah, pretty good to have Jogan. Um, all right, and I have alchemy, so I guess we'll keep Jogan, but uh, yeah, I'll discard um, <laughs> Warrior Returning Alive, sure. So I'll discard that, and we'll call it good. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right, and with this, with them this low in their deck, I'm not too worried. Yeah, there's another mirror force, so pretty good decision by me to not, you know, do anything. Called by, I mean, we can discard that at this point. There's really, am I gonna need to called by? No, I don't think so. So we'll end phase, and I will discard. 
uh, clear world here. Although this is dark, so I, I will get rid of clear world. <laughs> I don't have the life points to sustain, to, to sustain it, you know. But yeah, we'll get rid of clear world. Um, <laughs> you know what's funny is um, if they had needle ceiling or some way to destroy their own self-destruct ant, they could just win. Like, let's say this was Dark Hole, or like Needle Ceiling or something. Like, yeah, like Dark Hole wins, um, you know, Needle Ceiling, um, Torrential Tribute, if they like summoned and then Torrential Tribute their own board, they would win because this says if it's destroyed by a battle or card effect. It doesn't have to be destroyed by one of my effects. It just, it just happens, you know? So we're down to 600, uh, they're down to nine cards. So like I said, I really don't know if they have enough burn, but we're gonna find out. So, I end the turn and we'll discard. Uh, yeah, duplication. So, <laughs> all right, a lot of win conditions we have here, like the McDonald's Wi-Fi, the deck out. <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, players like this are pretty interesting. You know, their their goal is to get you to just step into this all this madness. Look at their graveyard. Their goal is to it's to have you attack, have you attack into all this madness and basically win for them. But by not doing anything, they can't, you know, they can't accelerate their quick victory like they normally do. So the instant I saw Toll, I knew I was just like, OK, <laughs> you know, and the fact is, like, this player is probably going to beat us. That I've, I figured out. They're down to eight cards in the deck. Uh, their last, like, Tremendous Fire is probably way in the bottom of the deck. But, um, yeah, you know, so. Yeah, they probably are going to beat us. We're all the way down to 600. But the fact is, we've made them, you know, work for it, basically. So, because we're all the way at turn 56, bro. And pro trust me, players like this, they hate long duels. They, they despise it. Man, they do. But, you know, we get 50 medals no matter what, so, you know. All right, turn 58, they're down to six cards. Wow, yep, that's amazing. Six cards, man. All right. Oh. Uh, trap trick. <laughs> oh man, there's a, uh, oh, we have the combo, there's Coggin. Who's a scale 10 and Jogan, scale 1. Pretty good. We haven't ever drawn the combo, but uh, pretty cool to see, honestly. I'll get rid of called by. All right, let's see if they got it, chat. Do you, oh, what do you guys think? Yeah, you guys watching the YouTube VOD, do you think they have enough burn? Ah, I think they do, you know. It's just like they got really unlucky, and it's all the way at the bottom. All the way at the bottom. <laughs> we made them wait so long just for those 500 medals, man. We made them wait. Oh, man, we made them wait. <laughs> you know, what's really funny is they probably have, like, um, Secret Barrel here the whole time. And they're just kind of, you know, peanut up wheel scoop, you know, which we're not going to do. We're not going to do. This is all for content, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's just end the turn. You know, we don't need Summon Breaker at this point. So, guard Summon Breaker. All right. See what they've got. Surprise they we haven't seen like pot of extravagance at all. Oh, oh man, what if their pot of extravagance is all the way at the bottom? <laughs> Dude, that would suck. That would suck for them. Or a pot of prosperity. There it is, there it is. Okay, good, good. But they have enough, they have enough, but man, it was all the way at the bottom, guys. <laughs> and we we made them work for those medals. My goodness. Alright. Good game, good game. Alright. 
There we go. 50 medals done. That was pretty interesting. Let's take a look at their deck. I mean, we basically saw the whole thing. But this is their deck. 62 turns. New record. New record. Uh, but yeah, yeah. 90% reactive, 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 reactive. Um, you know, reactive, reactive. You know, so... Although, I don't know how they're activating Fist. Oh, it's it's like Waking the Dragons, but, you know, not. So, reactive, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a lot reactive. So, you can survive the Ants and the T-Fires. Uh, this deck can't actually beat you, so pretty interesting, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh man, I made him wait for that one though. That, that was that was hilarious, Chad. I made him wait so long for those medals. Yeah, and you know, just like uh, a lot of the other players they face, you know, plowed right through. So, and also, I do want to point out one funny thing: we never drew Feather Duster in that duel. So. I guess this is blue eyes. Maybe it's dragon maid, but uh, yeah. Pretty good hand. Unfortunately, they have hope. So let's see. I think the play for us is the bump, and then we want to pass. So there we go. <laughs> Obviously, my hope is to draw to like flame or something else. Uh, and no more spells for a while, so. Okay. have one more turn I'll end the turn yep this is uh yep hope number 38 hope harbinger titanic galaxy control <laughs> yeah this is just 
This is bad luck. You know, our deck is... There's a lot of traps in here, actually. Like, in Jutsu Arts. But, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is a great hand. Yeah, it'd be like that sometime, you know. Okay, that's game. Yeah. Yeah, because this side of... Yep, you come an 8, and then... So, that's game. Um, yeah. That was a fun one. <laughs> oh. I thought they were gonna finish me off there. Well, they probably have enough cards to do so. That's man. Well, um, I think one of our dailies is special summons. So I guess we'll do this. We'll show them. We'll show them how hand boned we were. There we go. Yeah, sure. We'll show them. We'll show them. <laughs> There's that. Yeah. Um, wait, I'm sorry, they let this go through. Wait, wait, hang on. Hang on. Um, okay. So that means I can send yellow. Wow. I did not think they would let that go through. Um,. Looks like we've got some life, chat. Um, so I will set... Duplication. Wow. Um, whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'll just... Uh, I didn't think we'd get this far, chat. Oh, they probably have Harpy's Feather Dust or something. But, um, wow. Yeah, I will uh, set a couple more cards. Sure. A bluff? Um... Yeah. Okay. I end my turn. Yeah, I didn't think... I really didn't think we'd get this far. So, okay. Ah. Huh. I thought they'd just negate this right away. Um... I guess not. Yeah. Thanks? That's... I... Like... Maybe they've not played ninjas, but you always negate this card. Like, are you kidding me? That's, uh, yeah. Always negate that card. That's a bad boy. So. Alright. Uh-huh. Galaxy Soldier. Do, do, do. Well, I can debunk. Um. Right here. So. That's debunk. So Photon Jumper does not trigger. There you go. Although I guess I should have saved debunk for the Ash. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's my mistake. I definitely should have saved debunk. Or ash. It's fine. I might be, maybe even should have saved it for that card right there. They just added, but uh, it's fine. There's that, Galaxy Summoner. Um, sure. I guess I could try to call by. You know what, I'll just show them that we have this, just to show them like, yeah, okay. <laughs> There's called by. Yeah, there you go. So they should use hope here. Why wouldn't you? But Yeah, okay. There you go. Do, 
Yo! Um, hello, Raiders. Uh, welcome. Yeah. Hey, Iga and everyone else. Hey, thanks for the raid, Iga. I appreciate it. Uh, we're up against a, a pretty interesting duel. Um, if you don't know, my name is Flood. Uh, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Uh, talk about random things and uh. <laughs> No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm mostly known for being a, uh, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yugi tuber, but, you know, not really. Kind of small time, so. Uh, but, yeah, welcome. Um, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> we're up against, basically, Hope Harbinger Titanic Galaxy Control. They summoned this first turn, and I, no joke, had this notebook, uh, the field spell, and I had uh, <laughs> Fusion Substitute, as well as... Uh, called by, called by. So, <laughs> hey, is this that? <laughs> is this that Yu Gay O game? Yes, it is. <laughs> this is Yu Gi Oh Master Duel, and we're gonna attempt to survive by playing uh, Duplication, which this lets us summon a bunch of monsters in one turn. Uh, so let's do this one. Oh, it looks like they don't have Ash either. So, pretty good. So yeah, we'll play a whole slew of ninjas here. Kage Bushi no Jutsu, but yeah, um, uh, for you YouTube VOD watchers, yeah, go follow Aiga. She's she's really cool. All right, um, but yeah, and thanks for the raid. I is that my first raid? I don't know. It might be my first raid of the champ. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this duel's been a weird one. The weirdest part is I think they just forgot that, uh, that, uh, you know, this card had an effect because, like, on my last turn, the first thing I did was activate, you know, Notebook, and they just kind of, uh, yeah, they just kind of let me do it, <laughs> and I was like, oh, what? Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, so... Yeah, I think they forgot that their own card has an effect, so they really should have stopped this, which is the best card in my deck, with uh, Hope. And that attack didn't do anything, so we survived the, t the OTK. Pretty good. Uh, what's this do? Oh, right, right. Yeah, so now, what are you attacking? Ooh, yeah, we don't want that, so I'll activate this effect. And I will bring out the one and only Maison. So, uh, yeah, let's fuse this. And this, and uh, yeah, there we go. Ew, it's up. <laughs> Big mistake by them uh, to let me get out Mazon, but there you go. He's here. So, uh, there goes Arm Ninja, which that's fine. I do have to target a spell. Um, let's target Notebook. I hate to get rid of it, but yeah, that's the pick here. Because I obviously know the last one's Crimson. And Crimson can target a dud, which is this. So, alright. Yep, hate to do it. Gotta do it. Alright, so we survived that turn somehow. Alright, so our turn. Oof, man, that's a brick. That is, that is brickalicious. Yeah, yeah, Hope here is really just, uh, really shutting us down. But I think we can get around it. So check this out. I was destroying the ninjas left and right, and their effects. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you actually played versus. Uh, uh, did you play versus uh, ninjas today, Iga? <laughs> uh, I have not seen any fellow sh shinobi, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, the mirror match would be interesting. So what we want to do here is we want to bait this effect. But let's go for the the two card draw and see what happens. They should negate this. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And that's what I want, because now I can activate this. So, yeah, now Maizan will bring out a ninja. <laughs> What's funny is also by uh, him doing that, we get to keep the ninjas we've got. Um, ooh, Hanzo would be good. 
but I probably need at this point yes I need senior so um, defense mode over here just in case little insurance policy so if you guys don't know ninjas uh, yeah allow me to reintroduce myself this card reads soul charge for ninjas that's it that's the whole effect <laughs> no I'm just kidding well, this card's flip face up you can special summon any number of ninjas aka all of them uh, except senior uh, from your hand and or graveyard yeah that's pretty darn good so uh, so we've got the Mizon effect um, now what we want to do um, we are allowed to play the field spell now because this is only once per turn so we baited them successfully um, now what we want is is this once per turn this is not once per turn huh this is not once per turn <laughs> okay so I think what we want to do is Crimson Ninja target this which is a whiff okay that's fine wait wait what happened what could I have done there um... Oh, right, 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 the protection. Anyway, I flip uh, Twilight Ninja. What is this asking me to do? Uh, uh, if a ninja is summoned, you can target one ninja... Oh! Well, yeah, I guess I do want to do that effect. Okay. And I will target, uh, sure, let's add Notebook, the best card in the deck. Wink. <laughs> okay, then I will um, activate Kagen. Uh, oh wait, I have to tribute itself? Oh, I can't read, oh no. It does say this card. Whoops. I can't read, chat, it happened. It finally happened, I cannot read. Um. Well, that's game? Is it game? No, it's not game. So I'll boost this, which unfortunately means... I thought I could tribute Crimson and itself to attack over this. Okay, guys, there's one way we survived this turn. My Odd Eyes deck was superior to Ninjas. Hey, that's good. That's very good. Yeah, Odd Eyes is pretty good. <laughs> Uh, there is one way we survive this turn. This can redirect attacks. Right, I know this. Uh, the way we survive is the advanced Pashokan. So, <laughs> all I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, we're just going to, nope. We're going to set this card. So, I'll tribute this card and this card. That's right, guys. We're tribute setting. Oh yeah, pro status, and I will end my turn. <laughs> well, at least I learned that this um, this isn't a cannon soldier. It's a uh, yeah. I do have the tribute itself. Okay, I know how Coggin works now. Uh, but yeah, I love Odd Eyes. Um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty skillful deck, honestly. Um, it's kind of underrated too. Like, there's a lot of cards that support. You know, rune eyes, odd eyes, and well, really, the entire archetype just kind of ties in together. And they're like, they're about like three sub sub archetypes. Um, they're all pretty good, yeah. They're all pretty good. All right, let's see if we can survive. Our goal is not to win this duel. Our goal is to survive this turn, literally. <laughs> now, I don't know if we can do it through galaxy eyes, but we'll see. Um. Yeah. Really, like, their big mistake, they should have just, the minute I laid down Notebook, they should have hoped it and just kind of, that would have just ended the duel uh, about, like, four turns ago. But we'll see. Maybe they can uh, they can get into some of the advanced Galaxy Eyes cards and start popping my stuff. Yeah, there's Photon, which that is a problem. That is a big problem. Uh... So here we go. They're going to go into Afterglow, which basically Afterglow is like the alternative dragon for the archetype. Sounds weird, is weird, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Afterglow is that good. It's that good. So, yep, there goes some more. 
and that's the uh, archetype. This is like a, a evolution burst, but for uh, um, for Galaxy Eyes. It's targeted banishing, which yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now they should be able to go into prime, right? Prime pop this, and then photon more. I guess that's one way to do it. But wait, this is an 8 2. Yeah, it is. It is. So. Huh. I guess we'll just see what they do here. 2 should do an odd eye mirror. That would be pretty interesting. Well, it looks like we survived. Oh, smart. Smart. I was getting ready to say, it looks like we survived. But I, for, I always forget that uh, Photon uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon has the Banish effect. Pretty good. But if we had gotten to flip up uh, Senior, we could have survived. But uh, it's all good. Like, um, I've said this a lot during this festival, but uh, our deck isn't supposed to beat that deck. It, it's not. <laughs> the fact that we made plays at all uh, is a stream highlight. So... <laughs> <laughs> like I'll take it <laughs> I guess we'll teach them the ways of the notebook and like yeah you should always if you're gonna hit anything in the ninja deck like let me let me just show you let me just emphasize this because I know the structure decks new and everything and not not everybody knows how to play ninjas ninjas but yeah Runai's mirror would be pretty good I guess that would be pretty fun um but yeah let me just show this deck if you're gonna hit one card in this deck you should hit two. Number one, you should hit this. <laughs> Don't let it flip. Don't let it, you know, you should hit this. This is a soul charge from the deck. And number, but the most important, yeah, uh, this card right here lets you basically grab whatever you want for whatever situation. So if you got MST, whatever, hope, uh, you know, destroy this card as soon as possible. Because if you don't, uh, the snowballing will get out of control really, really, really fast. So, there you go. Always destroy the notebook. Ah, the death note. Yes. <laughs> L, did you know? Gods of death. Oh, apples. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> like, uh, speaking of death note. So, uh, this, uh, I think it was just this last weekend. Uh, yeah, they were just showing, like, a, uh, uh, this free channel on Pluto TV, which I'm not sponsored by them, but, uh, I'm gonna advertise for them anyway. Yeah, they were advertising Death Note, and, uh, yeah, I, I literally just, just turned on the TV, you know, boop, and I started watching the marathon, and, like, before I knew it, like, I was doing quotes before. <laughs> if I got the death note, I get some sort of fucking shit on <laughs> That's a good one, Iga. Yeah, you know, that's a good question. Like, even for the VOD watcher. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, guys. If you, if you got <laughs> the death note, what would you write in it first? Yeah, multiple impersonators, so they will never find me. The I, you know, that's actually the I. I guess that's that's five head. That's five head. That's yep. Cybernetic Horizon. Well, I guess Cyber Dragons do fuse quite a lot, and they uh, Elmo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is smart. Like the 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 scariest thing about the Death Note is not its power. You know, because I, like I just said, it's getting caught. You don't want people to know you have it. Because, like, yeah, you know, before you know it, like, the FBI will be closing in on you. Or the, the CIA, whatever. You know. Um, What would I do with the Death Note? What's funny is, like, we have, like, the advantage of, like, knowing all the rules. You know, Light had... It's weird. I'm not defending what Light did. But what I am saying is that he was at a massive disadvantage. You know, if you think about it, Ryuk uh, was just there to have fun. 
he didn't really give Light all the information. And, like, not only that, uh, Light did so many experiments, he kind of found out things by accident. So, like, if... It's weird. If, like, Light kind of... If he knew all the rules before... Beforehand, he probably would have won at the end. But, you know... He made so many mistakes. Well, and his arrogance, I mean, he did have that kind of arrogant personality. Um, yeah, his arrogance kind of did him in. That, that's kind of like one of the underlying, yeah. Um, but yeah, if, if he knew the rules that he, he knows now, you know, at the end of the series, if he knew those rules from the beginning, he definitely wouldn't have made some of the mistakes he did. Or maybe he would have, just because... You can't help who you are. Um, and that's the biggest thing with the Death Note, if I had it. Like, I know my personality, and, uh, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, I'm pretty, uh, I would get caught right away. <laughs> because, like, I just don't have the, you know, I don't have the foresight to, uh, to, uh, oh, hmm, that's an interesting drone. Well, guys, we're up against Cyber Dragons. What are Cyber Dragons decided to do? One thing. OTK. Um, this is interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Let's activate Clear World. And hope they can't read. <laughs> um, I guess this card can negate stuff. Hmm. I kind of hope they do negate it. As a matter of fact, they did not negate it. Hmm. So we know their hand. They didn't negate it. Huh. You can write their... <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can write like, oh... They die, like, right after buying the winning lottery ticket. And then, right, you just kind of steal the ticket. And they mysteriously, oh, no, car accident or whatever. Yeah, that is true. Um, hmm. Huh. They didn't negate that. I think I'll special summon this. Um, we attack core. Hmm. We set three. Yeah. Hmm. I think we'll be okay this dual chat. So. Wow, the fact that they let Clear World go through is a mystery, I tell you. Well, there goes that. And then we end the turn, yeah. Hmm. They let Clear World go through. That's, uh... I didn't expect that. I thought they'd negate it right away. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just see what happens here. Um, something else you could do is, like, you know, like, the long-term plan. You could write, like, okay, somebody buys, like, a bunch of stocks, you know, that are guaranteed. Like, we know, like, I don't know, Apple, um gold um biofuel you know um stocks in uh what's a really good stock corn uh you know you could like do the long-term con and like just give yourself like slews of oh they drew machine dude <laughs> oh, okay okay chad i think we've lost um <clears throat> well let's do this before things get out of control here okay let's try to bait the negation with dupe because they have only one equip card right now yeah they're gonna let this go through too wow okay um well all right well we've got this so i'll set this we should be fine then set that sure i'll set armed Okay. I'll set. 
obviously we're doing this before um, Infinity gets out. Cyber Dragon Infinity. Yeah, you know, that's yeah, that's kind of a problem. Um, we'll set this. Yeah, the owners of the companies you don't like and control the stock market. Yeah, like, and that's the thing is like, what's weird is you can like, you know, you can write their deaths at a reasonable, you know what I mean? And just like, yeah, just have them, you know, accidentally like, oh, you know, and you just pick like a really, really young business owner that, you know, that probably will live like quite a while. Like, um, you know what I mean? And then you just invest like deeply in their company and you know and it doesn't even have to be one company you know you just go after like the really really big stocks and then yeah you control the economy and you know profit because you've already invested <laughs> you know that is uh that's kind of like the long the long con and i mean is anyone really gonna be suspicious of that no you know <laughs> not really so I don't know, maybe the IRS, you know, <laughs> instead of the, you know, L in the FBI, you have the IRS on you, which that would be, uh, <laughs> I mean, does the IRS really have the intelligence to catch somebody with the death note? No, no, they don't. I've always thought so. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that would be a funny series, though. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. All right, well, they're just going to attack. I assume they're going to attack with Cyber Dragon first. Just say the... Yeah, yeah. I mean, and honestly, um, you know, CEOs, like big-time CEOs, are, um, you know, hated. They're hated and maligned, and people really don't like, you know, rich people, so... It wouldn't be a stretch to say like, oh, somebody randomly, you know, who hates, you know, big, big corpa, you know, you know, delivered the food poisoning and, you know, and then with the death note, you can also just pin it on him, guy. Yeah. Have him deliver the, you know, the catering, you know, <laughs> so, there you go. Easy, easy, you know. All right. Now, the reason they couldn't attack, uh... <laughs> You guys have never read Clear World. This is a pretty hilarious card. Good draw for us, by the way. So, let me read Clear World. These are the effects. Uh, yeah, light. Play with uh, your hand revealed. Dark. If you control two or more monsters, which they control a bunch, you can't attack. Earth, during your standby phase, target a face-up defense, destroy it. Water, during your end phase, destroy, discard one card. Fire, take a, a grand burn at the end phase. Wind. You gotta pay 500 to activate a spell card, so... Yeah, not many people know what Clear World does. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Let's flip up Arm Ninja and try to take away the negation. What's funny is they can negate it, but I mean... <laughs> what does that really solve? I don't know. And I guess we'll tribute... Summon some work to take out uh, some of these Cyber Dragons, I guess, yeah. Um... Now, Crimson, the water form would just help. Yeah, it actually would. It actually would. I guess. It, it, it turns on their strategy, which, you know, that's kind of bad. Yeah. Um, We've got Tobari. Let's flip up Tobari. Uh, nope. Don't play anything. Um, now, this is a Wing Beast, and this is a Warrior. Um, let's get rid of one Crimson. Yeah. And of course, let's go into... Oh, we can go into this. Yaga... Yagamaru. Uh... Okay. 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 So let's go with... This face down. And this. Alright. Ideal. Yagamaru. Nice. First time I'm summoning this. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to banish this card. Okay, so I will activate the effect. First time using this. And I'll banish uh, 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 Crimson. Um, this is in the grave, right? I think so. Yes. 
Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> and then we'll banish this. Show me what decks you have after. Oh, okay, I will. Wait, what? Oh, okay, there we go. There goes that. Um, we have duplication as well. Wait, what can I duplicate? Uh, oh, this probably, yeah. Um, right, we have Notebook too. Um... Let's activate Notebook. Hmm. Um, okay. So for Notebook, I will take this card um, right here. Okay. Um, ooh, I just realized I follow under the effects of Clear World as well. Shoot. <laughs> Oh, I guess. I, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, like, sometimes I go through the same thing as well. But, uh, hmm, one thing I realized, I'm going to have to tribute this in order to attack. Wait, or I could duplicate it. Yeah, I could, yeah. So we'll fire the second duplication, tribute this. Now that this effect's done. Take flame? I could take flame, yeah. Well, this is the normal pick, Hanzo. But obviously that's no bueno, so let's take... Yeah, wind isn't so bad. So we'll take yellow ninja. For no particular reason. Okay, we will flip this and tribute it right away. We will boost yellow ninja. Alright, we're getting there, chat. We're getting there. Boost yellow. Then we will summon a senior who's a earth. We've got this, chat. We've got this. Uh, what's your attack stat? 100! Okay, I'll tribute this card. For senior. Boom. And then we just attack everything. Alright. Arm Ninja. Stealth Arrow. Kaboom. Alright. Right. Add a Cyber Dragon. Do -do 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 -do. There goes Qu Yeah, that is the ad. Uh, senior attack this. Alright, and Yellow Ninja. Alright, he's like the Yellow Flash. Get in there, man. What would Yellow Ninja use? Like Lightning Jutsu? I imagine so, yeah. Alright, and we've cleared him out. I will gladly play for Clear World because this player can't read. Uh, yes. Time up. Uh, we're done. Alright. And plus, like, the nice thing about Clear World is no matter what they do, I'll be able to see what they're up to, because they're playing Cyber Dragons, so. We cleared out the Machine Dupe, cleared out the Fusion. Pretty good turn for us. Yeah, that's gonna... Oh. Well, you don't have one in your graveyard, so that's... Uh, hmm. Oh, wait. Uh, this wasn't properly summoned, was it? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, Horizon, right. Yeah, that's, uh... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let's... I guess they can clear out Arm Ninja. Wait, what? Well, I guess you can put it in the extra? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was about to say... There's no way you can actually summon that, right, bro? Like, <laughs> they would have summoned it. I would have, uh, shit -a -da 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 and farted it. -da -da -da. I would have been shocked. Uh, what's interesting is they can clear two of my monsters here, though. They attack in the right order. <laughs> Cyber Dragon Core destroying the Almighty Arm Ninja. That's pretty clutch. Um, yeah. Okay. And my last one is, yeah, it is Mitsu, yeah. I did that last turn. All right, all right, we're good. Um, hmm. Well, this card is good. Uh. Oh, yeah. Luckily, I don't have a face up Earth Monster. This card is good. The problem is. Yeah, hmm. Two or more monsters. Wait, what? I can special summon this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I knew that. 
Um, the problem is <laughs> my own clear world. Hmm. Huh. Well, this is interesting. Huh. I think what I should do here is actually the most damage possible. So I think the play chat is we just attack or yeah. And we just punish him for putting in an attack. It does happen sometimes as a cyber dragon player you know core is like the core literally of your deck and yeah a lot of times you do just have to kind of throw it out there and in attack mode and yeah, you know, on the on the kickback it's kind of uh, oh you've got to be kidding me bro <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good top deck i mean i guess they have thinned their deck quite a lot but uh wow Okay, if they know what they're doing, and if they built their Cyber Dragon deck right, they can go into Infinity. Although they didn't go into Infinity earlier, right, Iga? Yeah, because they had two Cyber Dragons. Nox there, that's interesting. Um, it, yeah, like, that's my question. Why didn't they go into Nova earlier? Or Infinity? Maybe they don't have the craft material. Yeah, that's, uh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll look at their deck after this, because that's... Yeah, yeah, that's, uh... Hmm. Okay. It is possible. It is possible they don't have the, uh... Oh, and they can't play Seeger, because Seeger's a Link. I see the problem with this deck. That's the problem. The problem is the normal Cyber Dragon OTK... You gotta use Seeger, because like, for example, this is gonna revive Cyber Dragon, and then you could link this and that. Uh, wait, why haven't they gone into Rampage Dragon either? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good question as well. Huh. Because Rampage is a fusion, right? Power Bond! Well, since they can't read Clear World, we should be fine, right? Okay. Alright. Pretty good magic card. Power bond. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. If they know what they're doing, this could be really bad. But I'm hoping they don't. <laughs> I'm hoping they can't read, chat. That's our win condition. They can't read. <laughs> hmm. 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 Okay. Whoa. Okay. And there's the Chimera Tech, which I knew was a possibility. But jeez, man. <laughs> Yeah, this is thanks to uh, Realm being on the field, by the way. Great job by them. And that's game. Pretty good OTK, honestly. And that, oof, that's a lot of damage. Mmm, mm mmm, mmm, mmm. I, I don't know what to say about that one, man. Like, Master Duel literally showed me, yeah, we're just going to give them the win. Because they could, we saw their hand the entire time. And to be quite frank, uh, <laughs> that was a pretty great top deck with Cyber Emergency. All right, so we're going to show some decks here. Um, so I don't have too many, but these are the ones I've got. Um, what's my main deck? I'd say my main deck is actually probably this one. Yeah. This is the main deck I've got, Iga. So, yeah, it's basically just Counter Fairy. So, that's the main one I've got. Um, yeah, here are my decks. Uh, Counter Fairy, uh, Venoms, and what else would I say is my main deck? 
I guess I do have black wings, yeah. <laughs> black wings, so. There's the counter fairy one. Um, right, this is the one we're using for the festival. Yeah, because we can both fuse and synchro. So that's this one. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, which deck we like to use? Uh, I guess. Do, 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 do. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Um, this deck's also pretty... It's... It's alright. This is basically, uh... Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, anti-cash. <laughs> that's, that's what this deck is. So. The main combo of this is obviously Gizmek, Soul Absorb, and Necro Valley. Um, with little control aspects in here. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one's a funny one. So the entire gimmick of this deck is hope you get uh, this impermed, and then you set Black Pendant and Reversal Queen. <laughs> You actually want your opponent to imperm Venus and then <laughs> modulate your life down to 500 and, yeah, reversal. <laughs> so, that's a pretty fun one. Um, I think I did have a Runeize deck at one point, but I... Uh, did I dismantle it? Ooh. For some uh, material? I think I did. I think I dismantled it for some cash material. Um, this is the cash in progress deck. Uh, we still need to pull some stuff, but, uh, we don't have unicorn. Oh, shit. Da -da 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 -da. Or just related cards to this. Yeah, I do actually. There we go. And Shangri-La. Earth. Ba -da -da -da. Okay. Yeah, so there's that. Whatever. <laughs> Just adding the cards we don't. So that's the that's the like this is the good deck in progress. Um what else is interesting? Um I think that's it. Kind of a somewhat crystal beast deck. Uh yeah, sure. Uh mixed with agents? I think I was using agents as an engine. We've got plenty of Crystal Beasts now, actually, which is good. Um... <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think I was using one of these decks to... Uh... No, 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 not that one. But at, at one point, I had like a Jinzo Turbo deck. It was funny. I was running a Jinzo Turbo, you know, like right when the Labyrinth and the Labyrinth Secret Pack came out. I was... <laughs> yeah, for you YouTube VOD watchers, like you remember that. Like I was... <laughs> <laughs> I literally put, you know, search up like Psychic Shockwave and I crafted um, Genzo and some other stuff. Um, but let me leave my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let's go here. But yeah, I got that's my. Let's see, 172, 142, uh, 172, 142. Um, uh, 743, 743, yeah, that's my friend code, so, um, yeah, if you're up for it, Iga, um, I don't know if you're still streaming or no, or if you're busy, but, um, yeah, if you just want to add me, um, yeah, uh, we can duel sometime, or if you want to do, like, a viewer duel, um, we could do that now as well uh you know not only just with you but with anyone in chat actually uh because i'm up for that and then you can just pick one of my decks and yeah we'll give it a try so that works um i could also make a room myself but i've never done that before so 
Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, th that works. That works. Okay. So there we go. And all right. There we go. And we'll go to mission. There we go. And kaboom. Oh wait, we got some new dailies. Is it already one o'clock? Yeah, there's there's no way, right? Oh, it is. Wow. <laughs> Man, time flies when you're having fun. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, activate two traps, normal summon three times, win a duel. That's pretty, uh, pretty easy, actually. Um, we run traps. Okay. This is doable. I think for the Exceed summon daily, I'm actually going to switch over to this festival for a little bit. Um, I know we've gotten, like, all the rewards, but, uh, yeah, we go into, uh, King of the Pharaoh Imps pretty easily um oh yeah i'll see if i can um exceed summon a couple times and call it good first well, i'm going first sorry right, first <laughs> and uh yeah let's just get into the duels and um uh one o'clock and i might grab a snack kind of a little bit yeah because i literally had just woke up and started streaming so We'll see. Well, that's a pretty good start for us. Um, yeah, that's true too. I, Utopia gets that daily <laughs> for, for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll just start. And we've got a this. And we'll send Nunu. We'll send um, Zoha. Uh, should I send Venomina? Uh, sure. Venomina. Okay. And then I will, you know, get Stealth Burster into the graveyard because we want Stealth Burster in the graveyard. He is Stealth Burster. And I will grab the Zoha. Don't mess with the Zoha. And this. New new. Nope. And grab this. New new special summon. Um uh, normal summon Zoha. Pretty easy. I guess I didn't need Zo Zoha, but um No no, I want Stealth Burster in the grave, yeah. And then attach. Easy. And then we exit summon. So there we go. And then with King, I guess I'll take Kotal? Sure, yeah. Okay. And we'll detach Doha. And we will grab Reptilian Kotal. Alright. King pass. Alright. And yeah, now we get OTK. Ready? <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, the the nice thing is we've already got all our medals here, so yeah, I don't really care what happens. <laughs> like I'm literally here because it's easier to ex exceed summon here in the festival than it is in rain. So <laughs> I'm just here for the dailies first. Let's see what you get. Let's see if you've got that called by, amigo. I've got a maxi. Your name on it. Okay, guys, what do you think? Is it going to be Lyralisk? Is it going to be Tri Brigade? Is it going to be uh, B Trooper Turbo? Or is it going to be Melfi? Ah. Uh, all right, there is the Fire King Loner. I, uh. Hmm. I didn't see that coming. All right. Okay. Let's see if they know the combo. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. They have the field spell. Well, well, well. That's pretty good. Um, 
Are they just gonna battle phase and pass? You may have wondered, why didn't I max C there? Well, I'll be quite frank. Fire Kings don't really special summon a lot. And I prefer two cards instead of one. So, yeah. So that's why. Huh. They may just be like reading their cards. This is probably the loner. Yeah, there's a Yaksha, so, you know, that's a thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, they only special summon once, so it's just like, eh, you know. Don't really need to bother with that. Do, 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 do. What if they summon Coach King? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. If they, if they, if they Coach King, I will, I will maxi. <laughs> or I see a, a Warwolf, I'll probably maxi. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right. The main thing is, hmm. Is there gonna be any of that? Hmm. Main two, in phase. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty easy. All right, we've got this, chat. We've got this. Yep, there goes this, and then it should revive. But I have no monsters, so that's you know not really gonna you know burn us. <laughs> uh, this card will punish you though for. Uh, over committing, you know. Oh, oh, no, no, you're good, I get But, uh, yeah, Garunix will punish you for over committing, that's for sure. Uh, oh. Hearing. Oh. Hmm. There's a whole coach archetype? Uh, yeah, there's, like, Coach Goblin. There's, a uh, uh, Coach Warbeck. There's, a. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, can we say that UAs, UAs are part of the coach archetype? I mean, they are, all, they are, they are athletes, and all athletes need a coach. Yeah, sure, UAs are part of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Another snake rain. What is happening? What is happening in this duel right now? I mean, I'll take it, I guess. So they should get their trigger here. We get a Sinister Serpent. Wink. And nope, won't Maxi. All right. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. So this mills. This, uh, right, self-destroys. This, I always thought UAs and FAs, um, well, it's weird. Like, uh, FAs are clearly, it's weird. Yeah, you would, I, you know, I had the same sort of confusion, but like, <laughs> FAs are just so unique. Uh, I love Don Drexter. That's a really good card. Um, Oh man, it's so. I still don't know what both do. Okay, well, uh, FAs are designed to increase their levels, abuse ancient fairy dragon, and win. <laughs> no, no, no. But but on a serious note, I got uh, FAs have like about four alternate win condition cards, and they're all fulfilled when you reach like level seventeen, level sixteen. You know, they're pretty arbitrary. Um. But, um, like, the in-archetype, you know, theme is to increase your own levels and then use effects. That's, that's the actual truth. Um, what are we going to do here? Uh, and fortune ladies have, honestly, Iga, fortune ladies have so much support. And fortune lady Aries pretty good, like in Duel Links. Um, there's, there's an argument to be had there. There's an argument to be had. 
Um, I would say Fortune Ladies, just from outside support, are probably... 20% better than FAs. Yeah, I know FAs have the modern support as well. But there's just there's just so much, you know, generic spellcaster support, you know what I mean, Iga, that I think fortune ladies are ahead of FAs, you know, now, you know, as I'm as I'm saying this comment. So yeah. Uh, um now as far as UAs, the uh, the ultra athlete playstyle from what I remember about Playmaker, it's basically to rotate. It's like a rotational strategy. So, yeah, yeah, they did, yeah. Um, from what I remember, UAs are designed to abuse um, Powered Jersey. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, kind of, like, exchange with each other and just do stuff. Like, for example, you can exchange uh, Playmaker with um, the Rebounder. Uh, Dark Hole, that's cute. Um, but, yeah, and then you can exchange, like, the Rebounder with the uh, the Tennis. The Tennis one, yeah. That's a pretty funny combo. Um, and, like, I don't call UAs by their actual name. I just call them, like, oh, UA Footballer, UA Tennis Player, Rebounder, etc. It's pretty funny. But uh, I actually have played the deck, like, way back when. And... <laughs> And what's funny is I used to like win at locals with UAs and people would just be like, dude, like, how are you doing this? And I'm just like, well, you don't know what the cards do. And I do this every week, but you never bought a little death. It's, it, it's hilarious. People don't respect power Jersey, but like, it's just such a good card that, uh, yeah, <laughs> it basically does all the work for you. So yeah, I guess they have gotten the field spell, which is pretty good. But, yeah, UA is, I, it's tough, man. Like, I wish they would get new support. I really do. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, archetypes that I wish. I mean, UAs are just a personal favorite. It's just, you know, I like sports and, you know, but, man. <laughs> uh, you know, I guess, you know, what's funny is there's all this Cacheteera stuff. And UAs are like level 7s that special summon themselves. Huh. That's, uh... You know, I never even considered them until now, but that's, uh... Huh. Yeah, um... I could play UAs with cash. Yeah, definitely. Uh, huh. Yeah, that, hey, uh, Tim. Tim, hey, write that down, man. Yeah, yeah, Playmaker plus Cash. Yeah, that's, uh... That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> yeah, 5Ds and Zexel, especially. Lots of... Oh, yeah. There's... Yeah. Yeah, Rank 10. Uh, Rank 10 Yu-Gi-Oh! Made a whole series on... Yeah, there's tons of, uh... Just kind of... Not, a, not even, like, rejected. There's, like, a ton of, like, you know, just mid archetypes, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, yeah, you know, like, it's just, it's it's whatever. It's, you know, it's it's there. <laughs> yeah, there's tons of, like, GX, 5Ds, and Zexel archetypes that are just, yeah, you know, they, they exist, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's all good, though. Like, I love Yu-Gi-Oh! in general. Um... So, uh, they should get the effect of, um, let me change this off real quick. So they should get the effect of Garuix, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, I won't be destroyed, but their Baron will. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Barong. Uh, I can't give it, you know, Baron de Fleur support, so, uh, we had to add a G for that one. Yeah, guys, this is the original Baron. Baron de Fleur stole this guy's, you know, uh, his uh, his swords, and he, you know, added Fleur to it, and he stole his fire. Yeah, yeah. This is the original Baron right here. <laughs> uh, this is this is the Stratos though of the archetype. Yeah, GX at least gets stuff like Gladiator Beast, Neos, Crystal. Uh, that's true. Um. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, there's always, 
I'm sure you guys have realized, like, there's just... True, yeah. Next is, is the 20th, yeah. And there's, like, just a boatload of uh, just hero support, like, up the wazoo. So, uh, I think what we'll do this turn, Snake Rain, because uh, Sinister Serpent is back available. So, we'll rain. This duel's interesting. They're really down to only like one or two cards. I will get rid of Doggo. Uh, do I need Mars at this point? No. Uh, the main one we want to meal is Nunu. And then, uh, sure, get in there, Aron. All right, there we go. Um, the main combo we want to do here is Ammonite. There we go. And we will use Ammonite. Uh huh. To grab Belt Burster. This is the standard combo line. There we go. Special Summon. Alright. And now we are going to stop them from doing anything. So, what we want to do is go into Echidna. So, we link these two guys. Very good. And then we drop them down to zero. We chain block. And then, yep, there's a Kidna. Chain block. A stealth Burster. Um, that's just... Ah, we'll keep the uh, A counters on ourselves, actually. We may be able to use them um, in the future. Yeah, and then we echidna add because they have something with zero. Uh, we can now add a um, kotal to the hand, which can special summon itself. So we'll grab a kotal. Uh huh. Okay, and then they have something with zero. This is reptilian combo, so we can special summon kotal. Uh huh. And then we can go into a link three or four, but. Uh, gonna be a link three <laughs> so now we summon the main reptilian boss there we go hidden treat us two materials total and we will summon cosmic slicer very good very creepy looking monster as well but eh, you know it is what it is uh so his effects he has two number one we get to add whatever we want to our hand that places a counters probably kid at this point uh, oh, right, we could also take Overlord, which, uh, yeah, that's just more damage, so we could take Overlord, Code A. I prefer Code A most of the time. Um, and I think I'll take Code A, actually, in this situation, because we've got the spare counters. So, yeah, Code A. All right. Uh, this card also has an effect to get grant an additional normal summon. If I still had, um... When do worms make it? Oh, well, you talk about a forgotten archetype. Uh, I got that one is, uh... <laughs> okay, they, they realized. <laughs> they realized what's going on. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh... You know, worms aren't bad... You know, there's the Yagan and uh, Zex combo. The problem is... If, okay, if Worms had a field spell, right? And hear me out, Iga. Let's pretend if you told people back in the day that aliens would be better than future fusion. <laughs> yeah, they would have... Um, they would have, like, kicked you out of the, the recess room. They'd be like, bro, you're, you're home. Go drunk. You know? Oh, good. Uh, you're right about that, I get one one thousand percent. Um, here's what worms need. Here, uh, and let me just let me just say this, guys. And not only do worms need this, but we need a field spell that says the following. And I'm gonna word this very carefully. Number one, you're allowed to set two monsters per turn. That's it. That's the whole field spell. Not normal summon. Not, you know, 
because we don't want every deck to have a double summon. No, no, no. You're allowed to set two monsters per turn. Then if like one of them's a flip, basically you get flip deck support. If one of them is a flip effect flip monster, you're allowed to flip summon them in the same turn you set them. And then like, I don't know, give the field spell some protection. Like, oh yeah, damn, 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 subterrors, damn it, damn it. Okay, and then you just add on there, you're not allowed to use the effect of subterrors, or what else would break that? Crawlers, or, or jars. You're not allowed to flip jars, subterrors, or crawlers with these effects. What else? What else is a broken flip? There's another one I'm, I'm not thinking of. You're not allowed to flip jars. Yeah, Shadals. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're not allowed to flip Shadals either. Okay, okay. You exclude those four archetypes, <laughs> and then you give us a double summon field spell for sets. Okay, okay. That's how you help. <laughs> and you allow them to flip summon. Oh, damn. Prediction. Okay, damn it. Damn it, Iga. There's too many. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe you just archetype lock it. Maybe that's easier. Yeah, yeah. You just give Worms a free double set, and you allow them to flip summon the turn they're set. Yeah, I mean, that it, does it fix the archetype? No. And you give the field spell protection. Like, I don't know. If this card would be destroyed, reveal a worm or banish one from your... I don't know, you know. <laughs> prediction princess <laughs> that is true though um but yeah that would be a good field spell would it make the deck tier one god no 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 would it make the deck be able to make some plays sure you know i don't know if they'd be good plays but you know it's something you know <laughs> um Check the dailies. I can't believe we got Snake Rain twice in that same duel. That was nuts. Um, so we need to activate two traps. Okay, only one more exceeds. Okay. Um, you know what? We can do that in ninjas. Eventually. Alright. Back to the festival. And uh there we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that would uh that would help. Um also, do do worms have a stratos for the archetype? You know, you know, a card that just says, "Oh, grab one uh, Zex or Yagan." I don't think they do. Yeah, give them a card like that. Like, yeah, you know, add one worm Zex to your from your deck to your hand. Uh, I love Battery Man. Battery Man, so cool. And Vylons, yeah, Vylons are cool. My lungs are cool. Uh, this hand uh, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to set two. And we're going to take our 50 medals to go in the drive-thru. All right, Lone Wolf, show me that Branded Fusion OTK. All right, you guys ready? Branded Fusion, first turn. Ready? I I'm smelling it with my Millennium Eye. Branded Fusion, it's the third card from the right. Bylons were... I, I know, right? Yeah. Uh, <gasps> Mirror match? Alright. Alright, I'm down. I'm down. Okay. Mirror match. Hmm. Hmm, this ought to be interesting. Okay. Okay. I see you, Lone Wolf. And they're, oh, they got the Hanzo. Oh, man, this mirror match isn't fair. Where's my Hanzo? <laughs> uh, it's all good. You know what? I'm just glad to see a follower of the Nindo, the Ninja Way. Believe it. <laughs> they search freezing? Why? Uh, I guess I do have to keep that in mind, but, you know. Oh, and they got the field spill, too? Bruh. Well, they are playing, like, 40 card. They're playing 40 card ninja. Well, better start by... <laughs> you know, what's funny is, I think I do have a Hanzo tin in the back room there. Nah, it hasn't been cleaned out. You're not going to overlay? What? 
What are you doing? Lone Wolf! Dude! What are you doing? You have two fours. Bro, go into, um, this. What are you doing? This isn't the combo. Aw, oh, bro. Bro, this guy's a phony ninja. Are you kidding me? Why would you not... What? Why would you not overlay there? Bruh. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> well, at least now Lone, Lone Wolf now knows it's a mirror match, so... Dude, what are you doing? All right. All right, guys. We have to show him the the, the, the true Nindo, the way of the ninja. And now, I'll show you by tributing this monster. Well, then, I'll set a new card. All right. I end my turn, Lone Wolf. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> yeah, I for the life of me. And, you know, I'm sure he has other, you know, rank fours in that deck over here. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what Lone Wolf's thinking on this one, Chad. That's, uh, I, whatever, you know, that's, uh, okay. <laughs> all right, yeah, that's, uh, that may be the first we've seen of that all, uh, all festival, right, Tim? Like, someone has two fours, and they don't overlay or fuse. That's, uh, oh, okay. All right. Oh, yeah, that is a good one. That is a good one. Okay. All right, and they're going to activate. This can pop, right? Ooh, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Um, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Darn. Darn. If it targeted for the... Mm, eh. Not much I could do about that yet. That's, uh... Hmm, yeah, that's a good... Well, what are they going to destroy? The back row? What? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yeah. I'm going to point the finger. Whoops. Uh, Alright, Lone Wolf. Allow me to show you what you should have targeted. This card. I tribute set it. Allow me to teach you the mistakes of your own deck. Right, Battle Fox. Now, they are going to destroy uh, Senior Silver, which is pretty funny. But I will get the effect, guys. Here we go. All right, Soul Charge on Legs. Here we go. So, I will Special Summon this Ninja, this Ninja, and this Ninja. Uh, Golden right here. All right. Um, G.O. right here. I like the animation for Dark Ruler. He just <laughs> right. It's like watching the uh, Spirit Gun from um, Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> um, left, go left, firm. Um, let's switch these two. Uh, this and then this. All right. Um, nice, 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 nice. All right. <laughs> That's the turn. Now, I know they have freezing. The only unknown quantity... <laughs> so, sorry, Ike. I, I mean, it does look like the spirit gun, though. I mean, let's be real. That That's what it looks like. The only unknown quantity is this face down. Am I afraid of one face down card in a ninja deck? No, no, I'm not. Um, mm, 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 mm. right, son of a gun. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I see what you did there, Iga. Oh, <laughs> good one. Um, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's use this effect. Uh huh. And then I will use the effects. We will switch this to face down. All right. Um, I could Golden Ninja for Hanzo. That uh, that doesn't sound too bad. Okay. Activate Golden Ninja. So I'll discard this card, and I will search for the one and only Hanzo. Uh, face up defense. Yeah. All right. And with Hanzo, this is a 
Stratos. Now, I know they have freezing, so they also have this. I find Notebook way more problematic, so I'm actually going to search for Arm Ninja, believe it or not. Yeah, that is just, that is a problem, so Arm Ninja, grab. There we go. Um, Let's bring out this. Hmm. Uh, wait, wait, what? If a monster is flipped, oh, that's cute. All right, we'll activate this card and I will destroy. You know, I don't know what this face down is. I know this is freezing. I don't know what this is. So, you know, out of an abundance of caution, let's destroy that. Ah, debunk, nice, nice, okay. All right, and I know they can stop the battle phase, but I have to force them to do it. Um, let's summon right here. First of all, let's bring out, ooh, Ragna Zero. Yes. Okay, so I'll overlay these two guys. Mm-hmm. And right here. And it is number 103, Ragna Zero. One of my favorite flood cards. Um, does this protect? Uh, nope. Does this protect? <laughs> it's funny. I don't even know my own field spell. Uh, uh, good to know. Nope. Okay. And now we bring out the one and only Maison. All right. I will now fusion Shokan by contact fusion. Sort of. Video is on the battle ninja. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, and now I'll summon Armor Breaker? I could use that to protect Mazon, actually. Right, they have freezing. Wait, wait, they can't use freezing though, right? They don't have a face-up monster. Alright. I'll detach this. The target this. Bye bye. Ooh, well, that could be pretty good in this matchup, honestly. One of my favorites is Zerophane. Negates all face-up opponent. Wait, what? Zerophane. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty cool. I've never heard of that card. Oh, unless you mean uh, Ice Beast Zerophane? Yeah, that is actually pretty good. Um... Well, I can bring out... What does Sh Shingetsu do? Mmm, that's pretty good, actually. Okay, I'll bring out Shingetsu. This is mainly to protect... Um... Uh, May... Maison. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I guess it gives us a Dithonian Palmer target. So there goes Tabari, which, yeah, that's nothing I can really do about that. I will set Jethonian Palmer. This might actually come up, which is really hilarious in the mirror match. Um, I will set Arm Ninja. I got to get rid of this card, man. So here we go. And then we will Ragna Zero. There's a DD card like her. Can attack three times. Wow, to basically stop all opponent effects. That is Pretty good, yeah. Okay, so there goes that. Yeah. So that's a Stratos. So they get Kagaru. And then this is going to survive the battle. Oh, wait, we can attack directly. Yeah, let's attack directly. I always forget about that. All right, main two. I got to get rid of this card. I got to. I got to at least try, chat. So... You know, what's funny there is I could have Armor Breakered, and then it does do battle damage, and then I could have destroyed this. Uh, that's an interesting combo to keep in mind with Mazon, but uh, it's okay. I'm still learning, chat. I didn't even know what this field spell did till just now. If it leaves its owner because of an opponent's card effect, oh man. So it's a soul charge if they don't read. That's pretty good, yeah. Alright. Let's see what you've got, Lone Wolf. Yeah, see, that's... See, this is exactly what I was talking about. You remember I was talking about this, like, two duels ago, chat? I was like, you gotta get rid of this card, because if you don't, it's just heinous, man. It really is. So, 
Uh, with Maison, however, I can grab... Um, let's grab the Contact Fuser. And it is... Ooh. Yeah. Let's grab this. Face up defense. Alright. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The field spell? Yeah. Thankfully, I read uh, Tin Tinchi Kaime. Pretty interesting. So there goes transformation. Huh. Right. I'm sure they're gonna flip. Oh, they targeted Ragna Zero. That's interesting. Um, yes. Okay. So what we want to do? We got to get rid of this card, man. And like, I don't know if they've got a way to stop Arm Ninja, but um, yeah, we're gonna do this right now. So we're gonna flip that, negate that, and then Arm Ninja will pop this. Beyond Pin pop two, then Dark Horse. Whoa. Wait, what? Beyond the Pendulum, pop two, Dark Horus, pop two, Axis, pop two, then finally Baron, <laughs> and I finally cleared the report. Jeez, I got, like, what kind of deck were you facing there? Man. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> it made you jump through hoops on that one. Okay, so they are contact pieces? Yes, so they're bringing out their own Maison, which pretty good. Can't fault them. And then, are they going to attack directly? Yes, they are. Okay. Ooh, right. Interesting. I didn't read their soul chart. Oh, yeah. Um, if this... <laughs> oh, gotcha. This card's destroyed by battle. Oh, right. We get a Stratos. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'll take, um... I guess I'll take... Green? Hmm. Hmm. What is Baku? Oh. Huh. Don't want Baku. Let's just grab Jogan. Yeah. Grab Jogan. Alright, and is this once per turn or no? Oh thankfully I think it is once per turn. Yeah, good thing we Oh no, it's not? Whoa, too good. And interesting, they destroyed Ragna Zero. Hmm. That's an interesting choice. So the, I know they've got freezing and transformation. Hmm. Warrior returning alive. Well. Hmm. And reveal this one ninja to art in your hand. Pendulum effect. That's pretty good. Um, I think the play here is actually Armor Breaker, believe it or not. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. We've got Mizu as well. But yeah, I think the play here is we just attach this to Mizon. Right, and I know they get their Mizon, but that triggers my Mirror Man. What? So I'm the primary summoner. Okay, and I'll bring forth from the deck. Hmm. The Pope. Yeah, this would be. And there's You know, I, I want to open to learning. There's their Mitsu. Yeah. So. Okay, and then. This return, right? Yeah. So we flip this. Mitsu. Okay. 
And then, it's for me dodge. But I still out that, so this and this. Okay. And then we fusion way over here. Okay, so there. And we got to get rid of Ninja. Eyes on? Now, they should transformation here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanted to force it out, you know. Yeah. So they're getting rid of Mizon. Now what will they grab? Okay. That makes sense. And then they can... Mmm. Makes sense, yeah. You target transfer... Hanzo. That's a play. That's a play. Okay, okay. Okay, and then we... He scale this. Alright. And then battle. Uh, yep. So that's the direct. Yeah, there's the freezing. Okay. And I knew they had that, so we just end the turn. And we're good. Okay, okay. Alright, pretty good turn overall. Pretty good turn. Yep. And you know, maybe I should have banished the field spell. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, because it's de definitely possible for me to take damage here. But, uh, right, we get our Mizon. <laughs> Mizon's just going off this duel. So many Mizon activations. Um, I will set... Let's set... Actually, let's set Arm Ninja, believe it or not. Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. Then the deck... I could also use Warrior Returning Alive and grab uh, Arm Ninja. That's something I hadn't considered till just now. Yeah, that's the grab there, for sure. Uh, Iron Digger, that's pretty smart. Uh, you just put it right back on Hanzo and try what they did, you know, around the first turn of the duel. Uh, two Tribute, oh. Right, oh, right, 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 right. So that just shows us they've bought in three copies of the Structure Deck. We have not. So we're at the clear disadvantage here. But, uh, wait, this is an OTK, right? Yeah, direct attack, direct attack, direct attack. Hey, GG. Like, honestly, pretty good combos from them overall. So, not bad, not bad. The funny thing is, is, uh, Jethoni and Palmer was never online, despite them, despite them fusing multiple times. Um, I thought we'd be able to steal their Mizon, but apparently Jethonian Palmer doesn't work on contact fusion. So, or like inherent fusion, which that's pretty interesting to know. But um, I thought we'd be able to steal Mizon and basically just, you know, make them scoop. <laughs> but, you know, that was pretty good, you know. And again, I didn't know. Maybe they had one structure deck, maybe two. You never know. So... But the fact that they had two mice on, pretty good there. Pretty good. So, but I think I played it probably as well as I could because, like, I—that's what I was thinking too. I was like, well, if they have multiple mice on, I've got to force them to tribute the one I target, and you know. But they held on to the freezing till the right time. That was definitely pretty smart on their part. So. All right, we're back to probably a vanilla duel. So let's see what we've got here. Time, space, trap hole, or void. Um, wait, how, how does time, space works against light and dark, right? I think. I'm not sure how void works. Um, from your hand or face up. Okay. So I think what we want to do here is this, okay. And we special summon flame, I think. One thing I did learn during that duel is that uh, Shingetsu is really good protection. Um, because you saw at one point, he obviously wanted to take out my Maizan, but the fact that we had Shingetsu kind of prevented him from doing so. So honestly, that's pretty good. Excuse me. Uh, okay. 
Uh, now Void, Void Trap Hole. I think Void banishes, right? Does Void banish face down? I think it does. Yeah, I want to say it does, yeah. Max C! Ooh! Alright, change of plans here, chat. We're just going to play this in defense. Oops. Uh, yeah, like this. And we would not want them to draw too many cards, so I will set to skip ghosts. Alright. Max C turn pass. Good job, Pawn. Alright, and we'll end the turn. Huh. Do, 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 do. All right, show me that branded fusion. <laughs> uh, what the? Fairy tale Luna. That's a pretty good card. Pretty good card. Danger Bigfoot. There we go. Ah, now that's pretty funny. I can actually debunk this. Hmm. That's nah, fine. Go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think he hit his own his own Bigfoot. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right, we'll use uh, Shingetsu here. <laughs> it's funny. I had the option to debunk there, but I didn't do it. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Um, yeah, we will grab... Uh, what do we grab here? Hanzo? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> that's funny. I had the option to counter trap it, but I was like, nah, nah. You know? It's so funny how often dangers hit themselves. Now, Thunderbird... Okay, well, this does, um, you know, go after face down cards. So I might as well debunk Thunderbird, you know. If I am going to debunk anything in the Danger OTK, it's Thunderbird, yeah, you know, so. See ya, birdie. Looks like you flew the coop. <laughs> That's so funny. He hit his own Bigfoot, or she, in her hand of like six cards. Kaiju? Yeah, yeah. We, we, all, we all know how Danger FTK works. We all know. Very good. And then it. You send your own kaiju. Very easy. Uh, yeah, whatever. There you go. And yeah, in phase. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Mission accomplished. We survived the turn. Wow. That was bad. That was really bad. All right, go Hanzo. Show me that ash. All right, you guys ready? Ash, ash, catch him in Misty Spring. Ready? Show it. Let's see it. Yeah. All right. They did it. They got the sleeves. That's why they got the sleeves, man. So we know they've got the ash. All right. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta love players like this, man. It's just like, you, you pretty much know what's gonna happen. And it's just, it, it's really refreshing. It really is. Makes me feel at home in Master Duel. Cause like, if you're not encountering, you know, uh, danger, you know, hand trap, ash, omega, turbo, what? Are you really playing Master Duel? I, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, next draw. All right. Ooh, Coggin. Hmm. That is interesting, actually. This has 2,000 defense, right? Hmm. That's interesting as well. Okay, activate Coggin. And now I'll show you the power of the Fireball Jutsu. Go, Flame Armor Ninja. That's right, I'm modulating my level by one. And now, well then, whenever I attack, you see, I gain a thousand points. It's like being in uh, activating Skyscraper. Ever hear you shouldn't play on a construction zone? That's because when you're in the uh, hidden village in the leaves, well then, I gain a thousand points. Now, of course, you know, Luna stops the combo, but, uh, wait, what? Da -na 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 yeah, sure, I'll mill my deck to stop your combo. Are you kidding me? Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. All right. Great job with the fireball jutsu. Believe it. All right. Now they should draw their uh, dangers or branded fusion. Uh... By the way, is um. I meant to ask, is, uh, you know, I haven't seen good old DPE, man. Is DPE, like, legal in the festival? Yeah, where's the good old, uh, yeah, where's the Plurid Plant, Verte Anaconda? Well, I guess you can't play Lynx. But yeah, where's the good old, uh, what's that fusion spell that plays DPE? Um, well, I guess you can do it with just Polly. 
but yeah, man, I miss good old DPE. Where's it at? Like, we've been dueling for... Hey, uh, Tim, how many hours have, have we been streaming? You know, in the Fusion Festival. Uh, Tim's holding up like an eight, eight and a half. Yeah, we haven't seen DPE once. Like, what? Where, where's the hero players at? I want to see some... Oh. Good character. All right, um, I will. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, where's good old DPE? Yeah, huh? Yeah, because you can just summon it with a, a D hero and another hero, right? Yeah, I kind of miss good old DPE. You know, it's weird. It it feels really, 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 really weird to be like eight hours deep, and the and we haven't seen good old DPE, man. We haven't, have we, Tim? No, no. It, it's weird. That's like really weird. All right. Well, anyway, I'll summon Flame Armor Ninja. All right. And with its effects, well, then I gain one more level. And this level modulation actually kind of matters for transformation. So there we go. Now, what does this card do? Okay, I read it. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. This is a uh, Change de Fleur, and it, actually, it's pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Basically, this is kind of like a mini DPE, but like the 5Ds kind. So, <laughs> pretty cool, honestly. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. There's the Kaiju. Right, I knew they had the Kaiju, too, because they bounced it with the Luna combo. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. There's the other kaiju. Alright. And now are they gonna drag Lubion OTK? Probably, right? I mean I would. If it was me, I would Oh Lancelot. Lancelot. That's one way to win. Yeah, it can directly, right? Lancelot? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you know what's funny is like, you can tell at some point when a person's just going for the gems and like. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Crooked cook when I have like two other cards on the field. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, but uh, on a serious note, guys. Okay, that was Danger FTK. We're not even supposed to last one turn against that deck, and yet we did. So <laughs> that was pretty funny. They were holding on to a lot of gas, you know, there in their hand. So yeah, <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, let's take a look at that one. That that's yeah. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So this is fun. This is the, if you guys want to play Danger FTK deck. Pretty good. The Astral. Yeah, I knew that was in there. And Kosick. <laughs> oh, man. The dang Kosick. I mean, this does stop you from, you know, playing back rows. So, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, by the way, this deck is missing one thing. If I can give, um, if I can give Pawn one piece of advice, this deck is missing one card. Owner Seal. Yeah, yeah, owner seal. I would play two copies. Because, like, how many monsters do you give to your opponent in this deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, I realized they had the Luna turn one. Here's the problem you won't always have Luna. Um, so, yeah, maybe one owner seal. I realize they're on the Denko Seca or the Seca's Light, but you know if you're gonna if you're gonna win that turn, Owner Seal doesn't really hurt you. In fact, it helps you. So yeah, one Owner Seal. Of course, when you're playing Seca's Light, you gotta know when to play your magic cards and when not to. So other than that, that yeah, pretty good deck. Pretty good. You know, it's just. A lot of dangers, a lot of, a lot of cards that can special summon themselves, like Alpha, uh, Gamma, and Beta. And yeah, you just run a bunch of Bigfoot, you run Thunderbird to clear the back row, you know, you run Max C to just 
drawn to everything. And you run Ash because you got the sleeves. So <laughs> honestly, I, I've seen worse. I've seen better too, though. I've seen like a lot better. So all right, here we go. <laughs> That was an interesting one. That deck is, uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay, so. All right. Yeah, serious question. Where is the player? That, that's gonna be like a stream goal for us. A stream goal, fine one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause like Tim, like, Man, like, you remember, like, how many people used to play uh, Destroyer Hero Phoenix Enforcer? Oh, right, right. Is it banned? Hey, uh, Tim, Tim. Like, look up. Like, is is uh, Phoenix Enforcer? Like, is it banned for the... Like, why would they ban that, though? Yeah. Yeah, like, why would they ban that? Yeah, I mean, they're allowing uh, Kashatira at full power, right? Yeah, why would they ban BPE? I, I don't know. Um... We will set and set three paths. Freezing, interesting. And there we go. All right. Ah, Tim. Oh, that's a good name. Look at this dark magician. All right, guys. Now, are we going to see Kashira dark magician or pure? Well, one thing I will say, they're running a 60 card deck, so yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, all right. You know what? I'm going to shotgun this. I've never used this card. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going to shotgun it because I don't want uh, Hanzo to miss the timing. So we're going to activate this, tributing Kagan. And we will special summon Hanzo, of course, because that's what we do. We're ninjas. Back mode. All right. And activate Hanzo. And we will grab... Boy, what's good against Dark Magicians? I tell you, I don't really know, but we're going to find out. Um, Maybe... Uh... Magicians, dark magicians, dark magicians. Maybe this card actually. Yeah, grab this one. All right. Hmm. Huh. Actually, no, that's fine. Let's see what they do here. Photon. Okay. Photon Sanctuary. That's fine. Could be Galaxy Eyes. Or just an engine, you know. Uh, Advancer. Okay. We're good with that. Um... I don't know. <laughs> Photon Crusher, heck yeah. <laughs> Alright, there's Prime. There's the big boy. I figured they had that if they had the tokens. Hmm. The good part is... We've got freezing back here, so honestly, pretty good. Hmm. We might have made the right call to shotgun this chat. I don't know. Hmm. That's pretty good. Let's see. So with the two fours, they bring out Star Leech Galaxian. Hmm. Ooh, that's kind of a problem, yeah. Okay, so they're going for the LTK. So, hmm, not much I can do to stop them either. Hmm. So the problem is, is like when all the Galaxy Eyes cards are ranked up, if they have Photon as material, I think they're protected. So, hmm, I don't know about this one. 
we may lose this one here, chat. I don't know. <laughs> I, who am I kidding? There is always the option that they miss combo, man. <laughs> All right, battle phase. That's fine. Hmm. Ooh, big mistake attacking with that first. We'll go with the battle fader. <laughs> so there we go. All right. And yeah, we survived the turn, which is good. That's what we want. So, hmm. The question is, what am I going to do to follow up? Eh, quite frankly, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I could transformation right now. I don't think I want to, though. Probably into dark some more. That's good for certain matchups, you know? Uh, she gets you. Wow. Um, yeah. It's a good draw. Wait, what? Why is this fucking me? Uh, oh. oh, I see. I see. Hmm. Interesting. So, the combo here is to stack this. My hand, I think. Ah, yeah, that's interesting, yeah. Then I can special summon this. Uh-huh, okay. Nope. Defense mode. All right, all right. And next, we've got two different types. I've also got Shigetsu, so I definitely want this face up over here. And, and then we want to bring in the Almighty. Hmm. No, we want Bison. <laughs> That's the obvious pick here. So I'll send, I guess, Hanzo. And this, yeah, yeah. All right, deal. I ready, soul. Nice on battle ninja. Yes. All right, we did it, guys. We got Mize on out. All right, mission accomplished. We were able to fuse something. There we go. And battle fade. These don't redirect attacks, do they? No, they don't. Okay. Attack directly. Right. That is an option. Huh. Sure. Attack directly. Nope. Nope. Alright. Attack directly? Yeah. Now, I don't think I can OTK. <laughs> but that's still pretty good. Um, yeah, we will end the turn. Alright. Now, they should be able to, like, rank up into the usual stuff and you know just kind of win from here but we'll try to like hold on and dodge and stuff so that's gonna be our goal oh i can even bounce itself right now huh pretty good actually hmm okay huh yeah, this card's pretty good yeah ninjutsu art of dancing leaves Pretty good, yeah. Really good, actually. Hmm. The, the nice thing is that we've got freezing down here, so let's see what they do about it. Hi, uh, Tim. Uh, hope, huh? Nice, nice use of hope, considering I have all these traps down here, but uh, they may have bigger plans than that. Yeah, yeah. They nice. Oh, I guess I could have used uh, Mizon right there. <laughs> What's funny is we don't need Mizon. Defense mode. All right. That's always a good sign. If, if a player's doing that, that's... Yeah, that's a good sign. Okay, chat. I think we win. Um, Yeah, just going to try to attack. You know, instant replay. Freezy? Question mark? I think we just straight up win. That's, uh, yeah. We had the, like, the lock. The ninja lock. So, all we drew was freezing plus dancing 
leaves, and unless they set a face down to stop me, which they did not do, we win. Yeah, like, it's, yeah, sometimes it's that easy. You know, it's not an OTK, but it's a 2TK, so we'll take it, guys. We'll, we will take it, and, uh, yeah, we've officially beaten the King of Games, a Tim. So, uh, <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so, all right, here we go. Battle Fox, yep, and we will go. Straight to battle. Go, Shingetsu. Um, let's let's name it Ninjutsu. Oh right, I forgot you could do that too. Change the attack target to that. Ooh, clever. Um, one thing I can do to dodge is not only play this, but I can use transformation here. So let's change transformation. Ooh, nice use. I, I was thinking like Hope Harbinger doesn't do anything, but it actually does. So there we go, we'll tribute that. Nope. And I will take <laughs> uh Black Dragon Ninja. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty good, yeah. Alright, so we'll dodge. Yep. With that with the attack, and then we can special summon. Let's see, what should we special summon? Ooh, does this flip stuff face down? Uh, one of these might. Let's just special summon this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, we will special summon this in defense mode right here. Okay, so there goes Hope's effect. We whiff it. We target freezing and add it to my hand. Uh, there's freezing. Okay. Nope. Don't chain anything because I don't know if it'll miss timing. Now we use this. Once per turn, you can send one ninja and one. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. So I will send this. And I will send transfer. No, no, no. This, which I just added. There we go. And we will banish hope. Bye bye. There we go. And now. Now we're good. We're still in battle phase. So I will attack directly. Uh huh. Nice, nice, nice. Response. No response. Okay. And that is the ninja way. That's my nindo, my ninja way. Kage Bushi no Jutsu. All right, great duel, Tim. But it looks like you weren't ready for my ninjutsu art of transformation. That's right. <laughs> Naruto mastered the one ninjutsu he struggled with the most. Believe it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I always forget about the attack uh, declaration effect of hope, but we did it, guys. We won with ninjas. All right. Ooh, we get the Chimera Flegia, mate. Uh, let's take a look at the, uh, yeah, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, it's just uh, Galaxy Eyes OTK. Some uh, interesting. Uh... Okay. Galactic Charity, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. There we go. And with that, I think we've gotten some new things here. Yep, exceed summons. Good, good. Alright, there we go. I think we've gotten all the dailies, I think. See, yeah, we did uh, exceed summon again. Um, Let's take a look at the dailies we have. Oh, all we have solo mode. Good, good. All right, guys. Well, with that, all the dailies are done. Um, I think I'm going to... Um, yeah, let me just uh, contact Diego here. Usually about the time I give him a... I can also check on stream in the meantime. And, yeah, let's see if we can uh, get our usual co-commentator over here. So, let me open this. Uh, maybe I should just call him. Call him right now on stream. Yeah. <laughs> I probably should, yeah. So there's that. 
Um, I could also, while we just kind of take a break here, while we take a little break, um, I could also read some random YouTube comments um, for the chat. But first of all, let me grab a drink. <laughs> good by the way the lovely fall day here today and uh probably the reason i'm in such a good mood it's actually raining today and oh thank goodness man because it has been so 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 hot here man it's been just boiling so gonna be a pretty good day today no matter what i do because it's raining man it is raining so that's good um okay so let's uh pull up my i'm uh going to my facebook here on my tabs we're just gonna call diego straight up he should be awake and uh, we're gonna see if he wants to come over uh oh stream looks good by the way just check like the audio and uh stuff like that so i think we're good yeah 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 by the way my hair is probably all the way combed out right Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Maybe the back. Okay, let's give a good old Diego a call here. So, give him a call. I, I mean, is he going to pick up? I don't know. Here we go. Hey! Hello? Hey, uh, Diego, can you hear me? Hello? Looking for you. I don't know if he can hear me. Huh. I think it said he picked up. Well, hang on, hang on now. put this on no we don't want to do that hey uh Diego are you there uh maybe not Huh. Well, I'll just try to message him instead. Uh, he should be up by this time. And I'll just be like, hey, you want to come over? You up? Question mark. <laughs> hey. All right. Uh, by the way, he may need me to run him like to the store or something. A la tienda. Yeah, a veces hay mojar Diego a la tienda. We'll give it a C. Um, I also have some. Oh, okay, yeah. He's just said he's just gonna shower and he'll be right over. We. I, I, you good, G? I. Um. Is open. There we go. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna go let him in. I'll be right back.
All right. Let me some PT. Yeah. Uh, I think my hair is all good. And uh, yeah. There we go. Let's set down. Um, before we get back into the duels, was there anything I needed to take care of? Um, really? No, oh, was... I could use some more water. Oh no, I'm about half. Um, let me think. Let me think for a second. There may be something I was needing to do before we get too far more into the duels. Um. Yeah, today's Friday, right? Today's Friday. Um, there's something I'm supposed to do today. Uh, Friday. Mm, one thing I will say, though, is that on my YouTube channel, um, yeah, as you guys have seen, dueling marathons are back. So tonight, um, remember how I told you guys on the Dawn of Destiny, the finale, I was just like, well, yeah, if we get to 250 subscribers, um, you know, we'll go for a certain percentage of, uh, you know, all the cards. Uh, so, um, yeah, um, we hit that mark. Uh, like, yeah, like I said, at the first thing of stream. And so uh, one other thing I plan to do tonight is to, you know, load up the default save file of Donna Destiny. And yeah, record a dueling marathon, which is actually funny, which is funny. The funny thing is that I mentioned that I could actually do that on stream right now. Yeah, I could literally set up my recording device, point it at my TV, you know, point this, you know, laptop that I'm holding right now at my TV. Ooh, do I want to play Dawn of Destiny right now? Hmm. I'm kind of feeling Master Duel right now. You know, it's it's not every day that I like enjoy playing Master Duel, but hmm, I uh, I'm kind of enjoying playing right now. Yeah, yeah, this doesn't happen too often, so enjoy, chat. <laughs> uh, what is this? Oh, ooh, Pendulum OTK. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Pendulum Magician, baby. All right, let's let's watch. All right. Ray. Ray is funny, the name of the duelist we're playing. Actually means king in Spanish.
Hmm. 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 Oh, sorry to hear that, Iga. Um. Well, then again, like I don't know if you wanted a a short nap or a long nap. <laughs> uh, but I hope you feel uh, I hope you feel a little more rested. Gotcha. Uh, like I said earlier during stream, um, it's raining here, and I I I got lucky because it was raining all night, and um, I I just I just sleep great when it rains. Uh, I woke up. Wait, what? Oh, oh, are you sick? But if if you are if you are sick, I hope you get to be feeling better. I'm gonna go. Shawa. Okay. <laughs> All right, see you in a little bit. But uh, yeah, I, I slept, I slept fantastic, because <laughs> you know just the sound of the rain, the little pitter patter. Oh man, <laughs> it helped me sleep so good. And uh, it's actually been a while since I slept that good, so it's good. All right. All right. The Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is performer pal. Um, they basically went to Odd Eyes turn one. Uh, what's weird is they played Duelist Alliance. I was like, well, got to be an OTK, right? I don't know. They just kind of chilling on the vortex and passing. So. Pretty interesting. <laughs> Boy, we are bricking real hard here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll pass. Go ahead, Ray. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah, that is one of the dangers I will say about like running um a ninja deck. You basically you want the perfect balance, right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. 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 But um, one thing I will say. Is that you know obviously you want cards like transformation and super transformation the level sevens and eights etc you never want to draw you know this card um, this card they're good don't get me wrong like white dragon ninja is like man, if you get this card on the field with like two or three ninjutsu art cards, that's like perfect. This is basically the uh, the Dark Magician fusion, but like it's a main deck monster. Um, but yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you never really want to draw this card, like hard draw it, as well as to some extent, you know, Getsuga. <laughs> so funny, this card's name Getsuga. Like gets a good tincture. Um, but uh you know, bleach reference. Um, but yeah, you never really want to draw Getsuga, White Dragon Ninja, or Dark Samorg. Just to some extent, you know. Uh it is a, kind of an inherent flaw of the ninja deck. I mean, you don't have to play these high level monsters. But most people do, you know what I mean? So yeah, and we lose because uh, Vortex can negate. So, pretty sure this is just game right here. Um, <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure, I'll show them notebook, but um, this should be negated by all means. Um, but yeah, it is. Um, it's just one thing you have to know. Like, if you're playing ninjas, you you just have to know. Like, okay, um, you know. I'm inherently playing some cards that I just I don't want to draw that are bricks, you know. 
and you know it is what it is it's just yeah you know um you're good uh sure i'll set one and pass you know <laughs> we'll bluff a little bit here uh but yeah that's this has been odd eyes vortex dragon control uh thanks for coming to my ted talk about the dangers of bricking in ninjas uh yeah hope you have a good day um We'll have the options on audible.com, <laughs> right, you know, <laughs> uh, podcast, DVD, that's right, that's right, we still make DVDs. Uh, DVDs are only $1, so. Uh, VHS tape. There's the Astrograph Sorcerer, okay, okay. You know, like, the, the minute I saw the uh, Pendulum Call, the Duelist Alliance, I was just like, wait, Where's the Astrograph Sorcerer? You know, because that's part of the OTK, so. Okay. They drew it, uh, yeah, Ray or King. Never mind. I think he was just playing Odd Eye Brick. Yeah. Well, we can take a look. We can figure this out. Let's figure this out, chat. I think he miscomboed. I think that's what's happening here. Like, <laughs> we can figure this out. We can figure this out. So let's see. Let's see. Match history. Okay, Ray, which means King. Let's see what King's got. Uh, um, okay, I think we can safely conclude that, uh, yeah, King miscomboed. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, it's funny, they kind of miscomboed, but, uh, this was the right first turn play. Uh, where's Vortex? Yeah, this was the right first turn play. They definitely miscomboed. Or bricked. It's one or the other. I mean, but the fact that they... Yeah, the, the, the fact that they resolved this... Um, that's almost an achievement for this deck. They won without Pendulum Summoning. Man. Eh. You know, stranger things have happened. And, you know, the funny thing is, that was a brick versus brick duel, but we bricked harder than they did. <laughs> so, yeah, it happens. It happens. Eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tim, Tim over there is giving the thumbs up. Yeah, you know, like... Hey, that does happen. You know, brick brick versus brick. Those are some of the most interesting duels in Master Duel. It's just like, you've clearly bricked. They've clearly bricked. Now what? You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> and yeah. It, it, it happens. It, it does happen. Uh, let's see. We are boned, so let's break out the ham. I think the combo here is... That and pass. Oof. It's strange. Alchemy is uh by the way, I just noticed this card isn't once per turn. Huh. Huh. That uh Huh. Hmm. Nurse burn! Well, you know, this is played every festival, let's be honest. Uh, nurse Burn. Oh, okay. Nurse Burn. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I'm just going to pass. Yeah. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I don't have a level fatal epic. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. Legacy of Darkness format called. Hello, yes. Is this 1999? Okay. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on, chat. Hang on. I, I have to catch my breath. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm gonna. I'm not gonna make fun of King Cobra. I'm not gonna insult his, you know, art of the duelist because we're probably gonna lose. Okay, 
So let's identify the year. 1998, 2000, no, 1999, uh, 5Ds, 2007-ish, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, uh, 2004? I don't know. What's that the Shadow, Cyber Shadow Gardener come out in, Tim? Uh, right, it was Enemy of Justice. Right, so that's 2005? Okay, man. <laughs> now all we need to see is the branded fusion and the... Uh, <laughs> And the sixth generational duel will be complete. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. Like, chat, you know, we respect every duelist, but I can't take this duel seriously. I'm sorry, chat. I just, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. Two nurses? Okay, okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. You're the best duelist. You drew your signature card twice um so one thing i will say though if you're gonna run nurse burn summoning the second one is kind of a mistake and how's it a mistake well i'll tell you if it's on the field it's vulnerable right to being destroyed to just you know right right tim yeah, I mean, no, don't get me wrong. I know they're going into Malevolent Sin and, like, winning. But, like, let's say they draw, like, two gift cards back-to-back. -back. This is kind of a mistake, no? I mean, it's going to win them the game. But I wouldn't say that was a good move. Unless they have a rank-up magic for level 7s, which... Nice. <laughs> so... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, okay, in all seriousness, though, uh, Chain Energy is a good card. Um, and really, I feel like more modern decks should play it. Uh, anyway, we get back Kaga in here, which is good. Um, let's go ahead and set the Arm Ninja. I mean, the Crimson. Um, ooh, yeah, I should keep my life points in mind, though, for sure. Um, and we'll pass. There's the Cyber Shadow, which that card didn't do in anything, obviously. But, uh, sure, I'll continue my main phase. Let's just kind of sit here for 10 seconds and make them think about it. <laughs> all right, all right. And now, now let's, let's, let's double bluff. Let's double bluff. Let's go to the battle phase and bluff the evenly matched. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> now in the turn. <laughs> yeah, if you ever see anyone go into battle phase with like nothing but face down monsters, it's kind of scary, honestly. It's like, oh man, do they have the evenly? Chain is stumbling. <laughs> it's stumbling. Yeah, level limit area B instant B. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Yeah, I, I got. I, okay, and what year was this made? 2009? We're getting there, chat. We're, we've almost seen one card from every generation. You know, because we've seen 5Ds. We've seen uh, Chain Energy is like 1998. We've seen this, which is uh, Labyrinth on the Nightmare, which is 2000-ish, uh, you know. And, yeah, all we need to see is the magic cylinder, and my day will be complete. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll destroy Fatal Abacus to avoid the 500 burn. But, uh, yeah, there we go. All right. There you go. And this is now a rank 10. So, you know, rank 10 Yu-Gi-Oh would be proud. Um, they are out of sins, so that's good to know. Uh, but yeah, if they have a rank up, major, uh, rank up magic Argent Chaos Force, having a rank 10 is actually really good for them. You know, uh, Green Ninja, ready to duel and showcase how odds... <laughs> Heck yeah, uh, let's put Coggin over here. It's so funny that Coggin has survived since turn one. <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, let's see, I think the move for us is actually... Yeah, believe it or not, this is the move. I know it costs a thousand life points, but we warrior returning alive. 
you know, and see if this is called by the grave. Because if it's not. Right, oh no, wait, we know what that is. That's, yeah, that's the Shadow Garden app. And so all we do is set Crimson Ninja again, take out Shadow Gardener, and yeah, just call it a day, chat. That's our move. It's pretty, you know, obvious. Um, but Sin is too powerful right now, so. This is Sin, right? Uh, right, yeah, it is, you know. I'm surprised they printed a Sin on a Yu-Gi-Oh card, by the way. That's, uh... You know, it's just like every card game has controversy, so. Surprised they went with that one. Anyway, they're setting a new card. Okay. <laughs> now, the, the five head play from them would be set a spell here. And then, uh, yeah. But uh, will they destroy Kagen? Yes, they will. Okay. Kagen has finally fallen, Olympus has fallen. Um, and yeah, this is a rank 13. Wow. Amazing. It's amazing, man. All right. And yeah, so here we go. Hmm. Duplication. Hmm. We can do some stuff here, chat. We can do some stuff. So we'll target this. Response? We can do some stuff here, chat. Response? Inga Cobra? You know what's funny is, I guess, Cyber Shadow Gardener, I guess it does give them the five special summon daily. <laughs> if you just do it each turn, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as funny as it is, that is one way to get it done yeah it's, i i can't really can't really judge you for that um ah coffin seller yeah i knew it'd be something like that all right um ooh. wait it says i can play transformation well anyway let me summon green okay and I guess I'll see if I have a target for this. Um, hmm. Right, right. Let me see if I have a target for this. So I'll try to convert green. I might have a level five wing beast. Huh. There's Maxi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure, buddy. All right. Um, all right. Right, I do. So what we want... Hmm. That's pretty good. I think we want this one, though. Baku? No. This one? <laughs> we could bring out Maxi. Um... I think we... Hmm. Well, we want Baku, but we don't want to use its effect. It's weird, yeah. That is the one we want. We want Baku, right? We use this green. Yeah, there we go. Okay. The flip down sin. And we don't use Baku. There we go. Okay, and now we step two. We bring out Mazon. Here we go. I forgot this was a level three beast. Okay. Pizon time. They do get Max C. And then we want to simply take this card out. No, I won't attack directly. This card's actually pretty dangerous. Yeah. So there we go. And then main two. I will draw two. Sure, yeah, why not? Draw two, show me the ash. Our points are getting pretty low. Okay. Jogan. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'll set dupe. And I guess I'll special summon Jogan. So I'll reveal alchemy. Okay, and we'll special summon Jogan. Right here. And... <laughs> sure. Also at Paul's run. Fernando. Alright. We should be okay. I mean, luckily, my deck has an out to chain energy inherently. You know, right here and as well as with uh, Mazon. So... Now, I did let him draw quite a boatload of cards, though. That's the only issue I'm thinking of. Um, so there's Chain. Okay. A couple new face downs incoming. I'm assuming some of them are burn cards, by the way. Which, why wouldn't they be? So. Probably kind of help them out with the max C, but, you know, it's all good. Uh, <laughs> Time Lord, huh? Yeah. This one only howls the life points, so. I mean. How big of a threat is it, really? Not, I mean, there's not much difference between 1,100 and, you know, etc. So, All right, there's that. I'm sure they'll use the effect. Okay. All. So, I think now's the time to mize on. The nice thing is we can attack directly, so... Ash. <laughs> sure. And what's funny is since they used Ash, Ukazi though, I know, right? What's funny though is I was afraid of Ash, but Ash is only once per turn. And now that we force the Ash, we're down to 550. On end phase, we can duplication. So, kind of a misplay by them. One more face down. Toll. <laughs> yes, the almighty toll. Oh no. Alright. Uh, main phase. In phase! Okay. So what we want to do is duplication. Jogan. There we go. <laughs> uh, Arm Ninja is coming down. Uh-huh. Crimson's coming down. Yes, I'll definitely select another card. Okay. Now, do they have the secret barrel or the secret blast? Probably. We probably helped them draw secret barrel or blast. But, you know, or like, you know, ceasefire. Oh, I can see that. Can't you? Can't you, Ica? Like, you know, ceasefire from 2000 and, you know, uh, one. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing I will bring out, though, is this, I think. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's pretty good. Yeah, and then... I could bring out a four. Hmm. I just don't think I'll need the protection, so... Face-up attack. And special summon another monster? Yeah. Uh, this one. Just... Just desserts! <laughs> yes, that is the ultimate... Yeah, exactly. Just desserts. Um... I think we'll bring out this in attack mode? Okay. Um, right, order. Um, one, two, three. Okay. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Just desserts. Alright, and it, whatever they have, if they have a burn card, they're gonna shotgun it. You know, I mean, I'm down to 550, that's pretty obvious, so. Alright. Oh, nothing. Well, we know this is Cyber Shadow, so I, we're going for the win, chat. Um, Crimson? Right here. Uh huh. Response? What is that? Jim Flash? <laughs> the Jesse Anderson special. Hell yeah. There's Death Counter Blow. Wow. And now we flip Arm Ninja on Toll, of all things, because we need to pay the points to attack. Mm hmm. There's Cyber Shadow. So they got their five special summon daily, but oh boy. 
Now, what is this dude? Oh, standby phase. Okay, we're going to win before that. Um, let's see if they have the battle fader. Oh, man. That would be the trifecta of a... Oh, man. <sighs> anyway, I guess for style points, we can play this. Yeah. And then just... Uh, we can actually banish this Time Lord, which is pretty funny. So, let's get rid of um, this. Yeah. Get rid of this. And we'll use Arm Ninja sure, just for style points. Alright. And we'll Fusion Summon. Because that's part of the Festival Reward, so we obviously want to do that. Uh, so well, let's banish a Time Lord. Uh, let's get rid of... Oops. Let's get rid of the Arm Ninja we just sent. And let's banish this card. Go... And sure, you know what, just for the uh, destroy a card bonus, let's, <laughs> let's use the last Crimson. Okay. All right, Battle Fader wins them the game. It actually does. Pretty funny. Um, so let's let's see it. Let's see it. So um, I'm pretty sure I'm reading this right, right? That targets this card. Yeah, that is so specific. Uh, luckily, we can attack directly. Yeah, thanks to Mizon. So we just attack all around. So there we go. Attack directly. No battle fader. Oh, do they have Karibo? Oh man. Oh, this is this is getting intense, chat. This is getting intense. Because I've not attacked with my strongest monster. Do, is there a Karibo? Is there a Karibo? We're gonna find out. Alright, Aizan! Direct attack! Kage Bushi no Jutsu! There was no Karibo, no battle fader. <laughs> We gotta look at this deck, man. This is one of those decks like you run like okay, they've clearly gotten all the mat medals. You know they're they're done reading their branded fusion combo video guide, and now they're just playing like whatever. You know they just need the legacy pack tickets. <laughs> oh man, that was a fun one though. That was a fun one. That was a fun one. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, we get the 50 gems. Um, King Cobra, let's see. <laughs> let's play, what timeline is this card from? Okay, you ready, chat? And go. 2020, 2017, uh, 2012, uh, 2009, uh, 2018, uh, 1999, 1999, the 2004, um, ooh, 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 I know this one, uh, 2007, uh, 2011, um, ooh, um, uh, the, uh, the, ooh, it was, it was in a video game, um, 1999, um, 1999, uh, the, 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 Death counter blow. Okay, name that year. Name that year. Death counter blow. Um, 2002. It was an uh, yeah, Dark Crisis. Dark Crisis. And uh, oh, uh, the the ooh, Gem Flash. Uh, Crystal Beast. Crystal Beast. 2006. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, 2004. Yeah, Enemy of Justice. Right, Tim. Okay. Let's look at the extra deck. Let's name it. Uh, Legend of Blue Eyes. 1998. Uh, 98. 98. 98. 98. Uh, Metal Raiders. Ooh, ooh, tricky. 98. Um, Marine Beast. We actually didn't get a promo of this card until all the way in 2010. It was a, in the OCG way before that. Uh, name that year. Numeron. <laughs> um, 2015. Um, <laughs> catch. 2017. Uh, Malevolent Sin. Uh, 2009. Right, right, Tim? And, uh, let's, let's name that year. Ravenous. Um, uh, 2012. And finally... Pain Gainer, um, 2014, right, Tim? I, I think we nailed it. Okay, guys, this has been the name that year quiz dot deck, and uh, I don't know. I think I got about like a 60. percent What do you think, Tim? <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh man! All right! <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alrighty. We'll do. <laughs>
Okay, that would, that actually sounds like a fun game though. Like uh, name that year dot deck. It's just like name that year Yu Gi Oh Jeopardy. That's like a unique idea. Oh man, man, man! I, I knew Pain Gainer was either 2016 or 2014. I was so close, Tim. Oh man, I, I, I like yeah. Like I said, I feel like I got about like a 60 percent on that quiz. But if, <laughs> all right, let's make a room. Um, create a room. Um, let's see here. Max occupancy. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just put 20. Um, dual time. Very long. Yeah, there we go. Uh, life points. Standard. Room comments. Um, using funding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one million. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One million. We want one million. Um,. Well, I guess 50 is the max. That's good to know. Life points. Um, uh, I'm going to just leave all this default. Uh, create a room. Okay. And the room... Yeah, room details. Copy room ID. Yeah, 544. Five six two. There we go. I guess. All right. Five. Oh, I, I'll type it in chat. Sure. Room ID. Five four four. You were. There we go. Nice. Uh, should I leave it in the title? Sure. Sure. Why not? Yeah, because we've done our daily missions. Um. Let's see. Um, you were. Oh, yes. You were. Room ID. Uh, five four four five. There you go. Let's try to update the yabba dabba do. Oh, okay. Yeah, it says it updated. So, hey, uh, Tim, you mind double checking for me? And there we go. All right, so, all right, there we go. Um, I guess I do need to select a deck. Um, uh, what should I use to select a deck? I think I will grab a random dice and I will pick, um, let's see. Oh wait, Tim, Tim's got one. Okay, uh, Tim, uh, what, what number you get? Uh, Tim said 17. Okay, so the number 17. So, yeah, we just basically start from the top, and whatever number it is, it is. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so we choose this one. And we select. Okay, and, uh, yep, yeah, we're not going to make any changes. I will duel. I got. There we go. And begin duel. We are ready. All right, let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, this should be interesting. There's a random, oh, it, hey, it's fine. Yeah, if uh, anyone who wants to duel is welcome. <laughs> I, I do not mind. Um, if they want to stick around and duel, they could have an interesting deck. Who knows? I don't know. I, it's fine. <laughs> All right. All right. Go and I got. Right. There we go. All right. Um. Okay. Green king. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hmm. Gate zero. Ooh, right. Okay. And Sky Iris. Pretty good. Oh. Ooh. I was a little worried there, man. My, my game, like, glitched. Mealing. Perform Repel. Eye Dice Butler. There you go. That's good. Little setup for later. Okay. 
has uh, Aga has yet to pendulum summon, by the way, so you gotta keep that in mind, you know. Yep, yet to pendulum, so not over till it's over. There's the ad for pendulum dragon, which is pretty important, honestly. <laughs> and there's some interesting rank sevens you can end on in general for odd eyes. Scale eight, that's a good scale. Yeah. In fact, that's a great scale, really. Got the Pendulum Dragon. Okay. And that's a scale 8 as well. Now, you have to keep in mind, though, a lot of uh, Pendulum decks can pop their own scales. Kind of adjust the levels as well. So, here we go. Yep. There you go. Yep. Exactly what I was talking about. Popping that one to bring back the Butler. Speaking of Butlers, Black Butler. Yeah, I'm about a great anime. That's a fun one. Uh, Phantom. Good. Okay. Okay. I expected Electromite at some point. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> I mean, this is what's supposed to happen, though. So we go Electromite. Okay. And eventually there will be a setup for some negation here. Um, ooh, harmonizing is dangerous. Yeah, a level four tuner uh, that can be pendulum summoned, that is very dangerous for the end board. Yeah. All right. There you go, there you go. I guess max C would have been a good draw here, but eh, you know. Okay, and you have the gate zero, but the scales are zero through eight, and well, this card provides protection. It's <laughs> Draco Masters. Heck yeah. Alright, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, if you have... Oh yeah, you could add a poly polymerization. Oh, I didn't realize that. Dude, that is so good. Wow, yeah, Gate Zero, that's a great card. Holy smokes, dude. Right, and here's the dangerous part, you know, the level four tuner and level six, I mean, there's like tons of stuff she can go to. I'm thinking Barone, but, uh, I mean, there's plenty of dangerous level tens. Yeah, there's Barone, so... <laughs> All right, what we're gonna do for our turn is very, very simple, chat. Ready? We draw. We are going to. Oops. Max. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um, what we're going to do is quite simply. We are going to. Hmm. What can I do about this board? The truth is, not much. Um, stop. <laughs> no, I think the, well, my answer is quite simply. We do this. We do. Response. We simply do this. We. This. Do that. Nope. Ba -da -ba -ba. Book of Moon. <sighs> wow. That is a great last card. Um, what I will do is... Is that two packs? No. I'll activate this. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. All right, and I will set. I will set. Hmm. All right. Add endo. Hmm. Odd Eyes Phantom. I'm pretty sure I remember how that card works, but let me think here. Well, let's see. Should proc for Barone. 
one thing I should probably do. Yeah, I should probably uh, the field spell pop stuff, right? Uh, you can... Oh, right. Yeah, that's not good either. Um. Huh. Do I pop a scale or do I pop the field spell? <laughs> well, what's funny is if I pop a scale, it doesn't matter. The field spell gets you one. Uh, I'll just pop the field spell. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, yeah, in that situation, like, popping the scale is meaningless because, yeah, literally what I just said. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, but, uh, Automatic ads is a little bit so. Access code talker. I've never seen that before. Well, sounds like I should play this card. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's cute. But um, <laughs> anyone who watches my stream knows I have a general hatred for access code, and I will solemn it if at all possible. <laughs> Now, if you revive it, that's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> sure, I'll draw a card. Uh, I could draw Karibo here, which would save us. I'm pretty sure I have Karibo in this deck, right? Yeah, for the, the monster type one, right, Tim? Yeah, like, I'm like 90% sure I could have. Uh, this is an OTK, though. Let me do some math here. 25 and 25 plus 3,000. Beyond the Pendulum is actually a really good card. But yeah, this is how Odd Eyes is supposed to work, though. Like, you gotta admire the deck, because, like... Uh, by the way, Iga has yet to Pendulum Summon. So, the way the deck's supposed to work is... Yeah. Yeah, you just kinda... You bring out Barone pretty easy. You bring out, you know, Pendulum Dragon for control, too. And you can go into some cool stuff. Um... There's some other, and plus there are like some Synchro 11s that are like really good. Like again, Punisher? But there are other ones, you know. Um, and there are just some general level 8s that uh, are pretty good. So, yeah. Pretty good deck, really. I got nothing to say. Utopia! Hell yeah. <laughs> Utopia is such a good Exceeds monster, man. It's just, you, you gotta love it, man. Utopia. Baron de Flour. But yeah, see, this is how Odd Ice is supposed to be played. And like, if you get off Pendulum Call or, uh, what's that other spell? Beyond the Pendulum? This is how it's supposed to work. And that other player bricked, like, no, that's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> You're supposed to, like, you know, Electromite, etc. Although, I guess Electromite's banned from the festival, which is a big problem, yeah. Uh, but Baron is not. Um, let's see. Now, I will choose a different deck. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. Um, oh, I had to stand up. No, no. Yeah, there we go. Okay, what's the next roll, Tim? <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's shuffling the dice. Uh, duel the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll duel the next uh, viewer. Um, what's the roll, Tim? Uh, six. Okay, I feel bad if I make him wait. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you have very numbly been selected to choose. Uh, yeah, reversal quiz Venus deck. So, I don't know. Um, let's duel the next person. Okay, next person, I am ready to duel. Um, and we'll give him like a, how long should we give him, Tim? Yeah, we'll give him like three or four minutes to uh, connect and, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was a good duel, I could Like, seriously, that's how Odd Eyes is supposed to be played. Like, yeah, you're supposed to just kind of do what you're supposed to do. Then, like, you, you want about, like, you know, the Harmonizing Magician, and you want about four monsters in your extra when you, um, when you Pendulum Summit. Yeah, yeah. Because that way you can get get a good inboard. Like, you know, Barone, 
maybe Warlord Savage. You know, you, you want some negation. You want some negation. So, set and pass. Um, okay. <laughs> well, I didn't see that coming. Alrighty. Well, let us uh, do this. And yep, we'll use Neptune for Venus. I'm your Venus, your fire, your desire. There we go. And we will do Venus combo. This is Venus combo. Venus, giant ball. All right. Hey, chat. You guys like bowling? I know I do. So uh, let's see if the unknown person in the dual room, if they have Nibiru. Because if they do, well, my turn's basically over. Uh, yep, so, yeah, nice card. Yeah, I like these card slaves for sure. Oh, those are cool. Um, we've already got Neptune, so I think the play is to Mil Mars? I'm not sure. I forget what I have in the OTK version. Anyway, we go into Moon. Uh, actually, this will let me see. So with Moon, we will Mill... I think we want Fallen Sanctuary. Hmm. Oh. Huh. No, we actually want this in the grave. There we go. I mean, I could pop this, but uh, no. So now, let's see. We will grab two material. And then this as one. There we go. <laughs> My game was lagging a little bit there. And there we go. Alrighty, it's time. Celestial. Okay. Well, then we will play this card. And I think we want to grab... Our chef. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, um, this is one of the first decks that I... Um, yeah, yeah, I just so happened to, you know, like, I bought, like, a Master Pack, and the first card in it was Master Hyperion. I was like, hey, I recognize that card. Uh, anyway, guys, let's go bowling. So, go down the lane. Is it a strike? It's a... Hit. Exodia? Not possible. <laughs> That's actually a good ad. Um, so I'll grab Sanctuary in the Sky. Alright, and we will summon Earth. Alright. And of course, we're trying the OTK, man. Uh, let's grab... Um, good to know I have this in the deck. Let's grab Neptune, because why not? What sex is... Yeah, like... Yeah, it was one of just the first decks I built. Um, you know, because unlocking... Um, Hyperion unlocked the secret pack and then I just kind of, I was lucky to pull the Link 3 um, and like I was lucky to pull this, you know, the Master of Faster, Master Flare Hyperion right here. I was lucky to pull him within my first 10, you know, so pretty lucky opening by me and, you know uh, let's send this to the grave Agent of Destruction Venus, and then we'll use her effects and then, yeah, we'll pay bidding 100. And yeah, it's time to go bowling again, chat. So here we go. Very dangerous combo, by the way. So yeah, we got the Venus Venus combo. So pretty dangerous. Um, you know, if they have Nibiru, they win. But, you know, it is what it is. And then we bring another. <laughs> uh, I could probably combo this better, but I'm just going to go for this. And yep. We put two in the deck. All right. Uh, the twenty. Yeah, same here. I get. I um. They should be. You know what I mean. In theory, but I I really hope so. I'm hoping for good things. Um, a normal monster. Okay. So we send the final shine ball back to deck, and then we use Venus one more time. There we go. Venus has to pack you point to down. So stay. Stick shine ball. Big show I guess just for the, you know, for the entertainment. I can use BLS, but, um, 
Wait, wait. It's actually more damage if I don't. That's funny. Um. More infantry. <laughs> oh man. Um. I gotta focus here. Karibo. 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 Karibo is throwing me off here. I see. I see. Yeah. This is the play, actually. So. Because we need the additional attack. So. Boom. And. Boom. And. Boom. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's definitely the play. Okay. Yeah, Karibo is slightly throwing me off. But. Here we go. Alright. Goral Sword. And. Yep, then we get, yeah, we get more Shine Ball. Yeah, I, and I knew there was a way to do this. It's just like, I've never gotten this far without getting Nibiru. So, Shine Ball. Shine Ball. And... We're just trying to make it Karibo proof. Oh, hey, they sh Yeah, that is pretty cool. And then... <laughs> Mascarina. Uh... No, no, that's a little, that's a little too much. So, okay, here we go. I think we've got it. I think we've got it, chat. So, shine ball. There was no Nibiru, so I was afraid of nothing. A sword. Hmm. Yeah, so we use sword. Uh, put this to defense. And now I can attack twice. So there's that. Uh, we use Master Flare. Okay, at some point the Karibo comes down. Let's force the Karibo now. I don't know. We know he added Karibo, though. Oh, wait. With Sangan, you can't use Karibo that turn. I don't know what I was thinking of. I was basically just trying to make it, like, anti-Karibo, anti-Battle Fader. I don't know. We saw... Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Like, we saw Sangan and Karibo... I'm not sure what else. Yeah. Yeah, we can try again. So, I mean, to be honest, uh, I got a pretty lucky hand that duel. Like, that was one of the luckiest hands I've ever I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, player in chat, if you're still there, I will give you another duel for sure. Um, and yeah. And if you, if you want to change decks, uh, that's fine. So, but I will try. Cause that was pretty. Uh... Yeah, I just drew. I just drew the right combo. I drew Pluto and Venus, and yeah, yeah, it was set and passed. So, all right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I will go. Well, last time, uh, let me go first. Let me go first. Yeah, last time I let um, the other duelist go second. So let's go first and see what happens. Let's go first. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is a bad hand. Pretty bad. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, let's extravagance. Uh, six. Um, okay. Um, ooh, ooh, that's a big loss. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's bad. Okay, well, let's just, uh, <laughs> let's set up Bluff City and pass. <laughs> so there's Sanctum. Uh, that's, we'll set, we'll set, and we'll pass. <laughs> Yeah, this duel is going to be a lot different. I mean, yeah, I guess we'll see what strategy. We saw all I saw was Sangan and Karibo. And this doesn't really tell me anything. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Dark Magician. Okay, um, now, uh, I don't know if they have Circle, but that's kind of a problem. So, I will Ash that. Because usually people will add Circle off of that one. 
Huh. Yeah, that is kind of a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Or should I say it's pretty... <laughs> Yeah. A branded loss. Yeah. Like branded fusion. Yeah. That's on brand. <laughs> That's a good one, I guess. <laughs> okay, so there's Selene. Uh, Artemis. Uh, Artemis. I think we're good because. Right. Okay. So I'll summon this. This gets me Venus if I don't get Ashed. So, okay, so we're up against Dark Magician here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we get Venus. Well, wait, I can add Hyperion. Oh, no, we don't want Hyperion right now. We actually do not. Um. Okay, so what we want... Downbeat. Huh. Someone had <laughs> full conversation using Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> That's actually a really good one. That would be pretty... Um, it would be interesting. Because <laughs> uh, there are some, like, you know, leading questions. Like, you know, where art thou? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it could happen, you know. And most conversations do begin with a question. So, you could begin, like, with, where art thou, you know? <laughs> where art thou today, my hungry burger, one for one, into my queen's night, or something? And, <laughs> you know, you just go from there. <laughs> and we entered into the sanctum of Parshath. <laughs> And we had um, a rekindling. There you go. <laughs> what did I just say? I don't know. Uh, Queen's Knight. Okay. Um, yeah, we do want to see what's in their deck. So I'm going to give them, like, what's called a homie drop. So I am going to, like, thin my deck. But we're going to see what's in it. Oh. Okay, we're really going to see what's in it. Because I'm not going to OTK. Even though I could right here. But I will special summon a ball. And then I'll special summon two. Okay, I'll special summon another ball. All right, here's going to be the inboard, chat. Here's going to be the inboard. Ball plus ball. ball. Um, okay. We this okay all right we go into right moon uh-huh okay we add with moon yes add instead and i'll take this from my deck okay and then we're gonna christia yeah just to just to make it challenging you know christia we add Earth, of course, because that makes sense. Then we set this, and then we just do. It. We'll do a little bit of damage. Oh, I gotta watch out for Honest. Okay, <laughs> I just realized that's a light monster. Like, whoa, Honest. Okay. Now we do know they have Karibo, kind of. So we'll try to attack. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because I definitely could have OTK there, but. We'll see, like, can they get past Christia? And are they even running Dark Magicians? Because... I guess so. It could just be an engine, though. Because there are some cards you can add that, uh... Yeah, Magician Souls is pretty good. Okay, there's the Illusion of Chaos. Hmm. Can they get past Christia? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just try to make it as challenging as possible. And we're going to see what's in their deck. There's Tamias. Okay. Making sense. Maybe they have an imperm for Christian? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see what they've got here. Okay. Setting. And 
passing, I'm assuming. Um, hmm. They could. There are some traps Dark Magicians run that could shut down Christian actually quite easily. Um, quite good ones too. No set back row. What is happening here? Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. Okay. Um. Well, I don't want to be too mean. So. Let's just, uh. Do this. And then. I'll grab, uh. What I need to get. Okay. Grab Hyperion. Yeah, I don't want to be too mean. And then. Let's give him a shot. I'll switch Krisha to defense and pass. I'm really just curious just to see what all's in the deck. But the tricky, that is, um... Yugi played this card. Uh, Yami Yugi? Yeah, in the final duel, right? Maybe it's an Egyptian god deck. That is possible. That is quite possible. So, we know they got Tamias. Magic Karibo. Nice. Yeah, that, that's actually a really good card. Okay. So they're getting some protection online. King's Knight's here. Dark Magician Girl. Okay. Okay. All right, we're gaming. We're gaming. Now, there is a uh, spell card that when Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl are out, it just, it just torches your whole board. So maybe that's what that is. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let me draw a card. Ooh, Hanawada. That's good. Um, one thing I can do here. Your anime theme. Yeah. I like anime theme. Um, let's just defend and we'll pass. Yeah. We'll give him a shot. Because honestly, I'm very curious. Oh, sorry, Hanawada. <laughs> it's so funny. Hanawada is a level 1 tuner, but there's actually a level 9. It, just, it synergizes with the deck, Iga. Well, okay, I guess I'll explain. So there's a level 9, you know, Parshath monster that's incredibly easy to summon. All you need is two fairies or two counter traps. And so, yeah, 1 plus 9, you know... 1 plus 9 equals Baron de Fleur. So, also, the, the the effect damage block, it does come up. You'd be surprised how often that comes up. I mean, because, like, we just played Nurse Burn randomly today. And the duel before that, we played um, where they had all, like, all the Mirror Force, and they had the Blazing Mirror Force, Magic Cylinder, Magical Cylinders. Yeah, you'd be surprised how much the effect damage block comes up. It comes up, like, a lot. A lot, a lot, so. But, yeah, 1 plus 9. Yeah, that's the main. Ooh. Ooh, boy. My deck's really starting to... <laughs> starting to show its stuff. Um, Let's do that. And did they add circle? I wouldn't pay attention. Let's attack this card, though. Um, well, no. Let's let them keep it. Maybe they'll two tribute Dark Magician and bring um, and circle out uh, this. Right, because that'll let them add thousand nine. Oh, okay, okay. That's pretty good. Oh, and they're gonna start the uh, the rotation. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, if you have two copies of Magician's Rod, one in the grave one on the field, you can do what's called the, what I like to call the twin long rods combo. And basically all you do is you activate one and then get what you need and then activate the other one. And you just keep grabbing your dark magician circle, a uh, dark magic attack, thousand knives, etc. So, So he's got the dark magician now. There's the second rod. Of course, you know, the way to stop the rod Twin long rods combo. Chaos swarm. Oh, sweet. Okay. But uh, the way to stop the combo is you just, you know, you called by or you just banish them, you know. 
All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. There's Max C. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And we. Ooh. <laughs> oh man. Boy, oh boy, did we have some stuff on the crack back. Uh, the problem is, can I survive the OTK? I don't know. But I will in the turn. <laughs> All right. So there's a way for this deck to, you know, to um, get rid of this. And it's a dark magic circle. So we'll see if they have it. Um, there's other ways too, like loads of other ways. But yeah. Um, let's see. In phase, okay. All right. There goes Jack's Knight. Wow, so we've seen, yeah. We've seen that part of the deck, too, where there's, yeah, there's Jack, King, Queen. They could have the uh, Miracle Fusion, which is obviously pretty good. Um... I don't know. And I'm thinking maybe there's a Slifer in hand? I'm feeling, what, what do you think, I got? I'm, I'm smelling a Slifer. I really am. I think there's a Slifer of the Sky Dragon in hand. Because those archetypes do go together, you know. Okay, getting rid of the Venus. Good call, good call. And then getting rid of the Herb. All right, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. All right. I'm actually okay with that because that puts us out of uh, range of, uh, what's that one card? The uh, the Egyptian God Support, where it lets you tribute your opponent's stuff. Sphere Mode. Yeah. <laughs> I actually was a little worried about Sphere Mode there, chat. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, one thing we can do, since we're giving some homie drops, is we can stack our deck. Yeah, so with Sanctum, we can now add uh, Shine Ball, uh, Venus, and this back to the deck. There we go. And we want this. <laughs> Let's actually mix up the order, sure. <laughs> okay. And we'll end the turn. Um, I will discard this because it's not fair in this matchup. There we go. All right. So, I think they're waiting for Circle. There are 20 cards left in the deck, though, so... I don't know if they'll get it. What's funny is, they might have an out and just need me to attack. But I'm not gonna do that. Because, <laughs> like, this could be, I don't know, Mirror Force, Soccer Etsu Armor. I don't know. The fact is... I don't have to attack because we can win by deck out. So we're just gonna sit here in defense mode. <laughs> but no, I'm pretty sure they do have an owl. It's just a matter of time. King's Knight, okay. King's Knight is good. So, and there are some support cards for that too, right? Like the, uh, the new Joker's Wild stuff. So, and actually now they have three tributes. It's Multiply, look out. No, 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 it's Slifer, the Sky Dragon. Like, um, I don't know if that, that's exactly what they're gonna do. What I do know is I'm gonna set this card and pass. Okay, so I'm hoping it's Slifer, but there are plenty of three tribute monsters out there. They could also two tribute for Dark Magician. That's a play. Okay. Battle phase. Oh. Okay. Well, we're going to continue the deck rotation. So with Venus Engrave, I guess this next card will be a new card. Yeah, see? Yeah, like this is what uh, the Pharaoh used to help summon um, Obelisk. Yeah, tricky spell four. Like I'm seeing, I'm starting to see like the Egyptian God parts of the deck. Like seriously. Um. The problem is, Christian Lock. Um, but yeah, we'll stack. Stack. And we'll stack. There we go. Uh, I'll take ball first. The other two don't matter. 
Now, this card's somewhat interesting. Hmm. My win con right here. Yep. Looks like a win con to me. Um. Let's end the turn. And I'll discard a first pool again. Okay. Like, I'm 90% sure this deck has like 10 outs. But you do need the right combination. Okay. Face down card. Alright. Shine ball. Alright. Let's do something truly crazy. A summon shine ball in attack mode. Alright. And nope. Oh. Okay, so there's no torrential tribute. We've eliminated one <laughs> we've eliminated one thing I'm worried about, chat. There's no TT. Okay, let's stack this. What is it? There are some good monsters you can set. There's Karibo. All right, all right, all right. That's one Karibo down. That's one down. All right. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good, chat. We're doing good. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. And we've seen, yeah, we've seen Gaia too. Gaia, Chaos. Yeah, this deck's interesting. This deck's, and, you, and you've got like Artemis. I'm sure there's some Link monster they could summon to out this. The problem is Krishja just doesn't let you special. So we'll see. Like once Krishja gets negated or the uh, infinite impermanence gets drawn, we will see what's happening. Um, let me see here. Let's defend. Let's summon Venus. Um. Pass. Pass. I definitely want to leave them three tributes in case they draw the Egyptian god. Or. Um. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Aha! I told you, Iga. I told you. I told you. Mm. My Millennium Necklace saw that coming, Flatten Boy. Now behold, Slife of the Sky Dragon. I told you, Iga. I knew it. I knew it. That's right, Iga. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Nothing can fool my Millennium Eye. <laughs> ah, you see, Iga, a duelist of this caliber has long since memorized their deck. And well, I knew that they'd summon Slife of the Sky Dragon. Now it's at 6,000 points, hmm. It looks like I should go into defense mode. Can I beat an Egyptian god? Hmm. Well, I could right now, but I won't. Instead, I'll summon this, and in my turn. Hmm. Very well. All move, duelist. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> I knew Slifer would be. Oh, let's see if they have infinite cards. Hmm. Infinite cards, eh? This allows your monster to grow infinitely. Now, there is a uh, piercing card. Um, in fact, there's plenty of piercing battle damage cards out there. And, you know, if they even have Berry Meteor Crush, they win. <laughs> so, that's a thing. Um, anyway, my turn. Ah, ah. Win con detected. Win con detected. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We've got it. We've got it. So, what I want to do here is go for this card. How many cards do they have left? Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. All right. I end my turn. <laughs> I forgot I even had this card in the deck. Holy smokes. Now, because he drew a card, Slife is at 7,000 points. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Win con detected, so I think the win con's deck out. We'll see. 
I'm surprised they haven't destroyed Christia yet, by the way. Very nice of them. Um, and well, I guess we'll keep them off of monsters. Um, ooh. Ooh. Man, that is nasty. That is pretty good. Um, let's see. Let's just switch Krista. And then I will get Mirror Force. Ready? Mirror Force. Oh, what if they have Magic Cylinder? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I, I called that one. I, get, I was like, what if they have Cylinder? Now, you know, I could have Hanawatted that, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Let's discard uh, Dark... Uh, this Kaiju, yeah. <laughs> I, I called that Cylinder, though. Okay, and now they're at 7,000, which, you know, maybe I should have Hanawatted, but it's fine. <laughs> that was funny. What's up, John? Do it all right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> this this person's playing an Egyptian god dick. This is intense, man. This is it's all about passion, the moment. Uh, do you guys see Diego up there? Oh, okay. I'll probably text him. He might have fell asleep, actually. <laughs> I called that magic cylinder, though. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, what? Oh, no! No! No, he disconnected! No! Or did I disconnect? I don't know. Either way, that was a pretty fun duel. Like, um, I, I don't think there's a way to look at the deck here, is there? Uh, let's see. I don't think so. Um, but great duel. Hey, and honestly, thanks for the gameplay. That was pretty... Yeah. That was pretty interesting, though. Um, I'm pretty sure they had game. All they had to do was just attack with Slifer. And then, you know, use the Thunder Force attack. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate that we disconnected there. But that was a fun duel. Um, yeah, Slifer's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, all right. Um, I guess I guess next. Okay, you guys can come in now. I don't mind. The duel's over. Yeah. Guys, summon an Egyptian god, man. I don't know. It's a card. I need to change decks. Um, the number is... Uh... 13. Okay. Six. Oh, I don't think I can build this one. Or can I? Select? Ooh, yeah, I don't have all these cards. We gotta re roll. Um, the number is. Twenty-four? Okay. Six. Twelve. Twenty-four. Okay. Very similar deck. There are like one or two cards missing though. Uh prohibited. What? Oh, I probably have instant fusion in here, don't I? Yeah, I'm like 99% sure. Uh what card is banned? What card is not allowed? Wait, what? Why is this deck not allowed? Oh. Oh, I literally didn't have a card in there. <laughs> That's supposed to go in there. Okay. That was weird. Uh, anyway. Uh, yep. Good luck, Igo. Yeah, we're just playing viewer duels today, man. That was cool. Nice. Um... You got any plans this weekend? Peek out. Well, you know your, your mom. That's so bad. <laughs> oh, oh 
Yeah, that's hey, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okie dokie. This hand. Pretty good, yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh, look at these sleeves. Wait, wait, is that a is that a time thief free doer? No. What is that? What is that looks pretty cool. <laughs> Look at the field setup too. Wow. Hey, that looks pretty cool. Got the ash mate. Hey. Would you like to come in? Oh, okay. Go ahead and come in. What's up, oh <laughs> What's up, Jarrell? Let me clear this chair. You can sit in this chair. How's it going, Jarrell? <laughs> Hard fun. Oh, you guys were like playing around or wow. Uh, durability. Oh, for real? No. Okay. Fifteen? For fifteen for him to quit? Oh, okay. Oh. That was over here. Oh. Well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not getting beat up because, like, he's your friend, right? Oh. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. There you go. All's fair. Um, I guess that's. I mean, we used to play this one game in high school. Like, I already told you, right? No, 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 no. Uh, Kicking the nuts. You know what the goal of the game is? No, no, the, the the goal, yeah, 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 it's to block. The goal of the game is to block, like literally. It's a very weird game, and I'm surprised we all survived and went on to have, you know, children. But weird game, man. <laughs> yeah. I guess, man, you know, you know what it is. Black and yellow. Oh, dude, we were worried about nothing, huh? Right. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is, you know. Oh, no. I just... uh, what is that? No, it's Galaxy Cleric. Okay. Oh! Okay, well, now I know what, what deck I'm up against. <laughs> Nah, that's fine. All right, Iga. Good luck. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just doing viewer duels today. Yeah. Yep. I am. I mean, we just had a viewer duel versus an Egyptian god dead. That was pretty cool. They so they summon uh, Osiris no Tenku no. Life of the sky, the way. Um, I probably should have shotgun this. It's my fault. I, you know, I, I never did did like Takis. I, I don't know. It's just something about it. Just, uh... Bye. Yeah. yeah. it's... Okay. 50 bags of Takis? In a, in a month or a year? Mmm. That's, uh... Sounds like to me you need to sign up for food stamps, though. <laughs> <laughs> I... mm. Mm -hmm. What does this do? Oh, dude. That is a good effect. I can't let that happen. I don't know if she has a, a Photon Galaxy Dragon or not. Who? Who's your mom? Who's, who's my sister? You mean uh, Mrs. Smith? You know, because I'm streaming. Smith? That, that's my actual name? 
Yeah, I think you mean Mr. Smith. Sister Smith. Sister Smith. Oh. We'll call her Sister Smith. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously, like, I, I've told this to people, too, I go, but I go by a, you know, a wrong last name on the internet. That's probably the best way to be safe. I should probably go by a wrong first name, too. I mean, like, doxing is a real concern these days, man. I, I, I'm just saying. Uh, what is this? Uh, Photon Dragon. Hmm. Uh... Hmm, that's a good effect. What? What? All right, I'll use follow-up sanctuary. Oh, you were? Bruh. I heard you. <laughs> yeah, dude. <dear. laughs> Be quiet, are you? <laughs> oh, I mean, um, uh, uh, what'd you say your name is today? Ah, it's fine. Your name is Smith. Jadavius Smith. Jadavius Smith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Jarrell with five R's. <laughs> Jarrell. Ja <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Good point. The only the the only doxing I care about is going to the doctor. Wait, that that didn't make any sense. Hey man, that's a strong language. Why why'd you use the F word, man? Uh, it's it's okay. Oh, wait, what? Whoa, whoa, hey, yo, that's... Whoa, whoa. there's some things I don't need to hear about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a little, ooh, you know, I don't know about that. But, uh... All right. Yeah, TMI. All right. No, no, I mean, you know, nah, I'm... I'm... You got hot dog buns? Oh, nice. I was about to say, did, uh, I was going to ask if, uh, Crow, uh, barbecued down there. But yeah, we are out of bread, aren't we? Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, please, please don't, I drew three, oh, oh, that's, that's bad. That is what? JJ. B R E. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Close one. I was literally gonna say I totally don't have a girl, and then I remembered my girl. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she she added me on stream, so that's well, she was wanting to talk to you. you know, so. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that would be bad. That would be... <laughs> Bro, like, that would be real bad. Anyway, uh, oh, I had a big one. Why, dude? Ooh, oh yeah, sorry, sorry, I got, I forgot, I forgot to switch. But uh, anyway, you had what? Had like a, like a knock. Oh. I chose. Had a knock. Oh. You know how to play to like knock. Or or what? Played up. I played up to where? Played up. To... Oh, where? This is. <laughs> I I've just nachos. Like, why? 
Ah. I, <laughs> I was still hungry. All right. Um. Um. Jarrell, Jer- name a number between um one and twenty-four, randomly. Nineteen. Okay. Okay. Uh. Six. Twelve. Eighteen. Nineteen. Oh, <laughs> this is actually like a starter deck, so okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, what? Wait. Oh, wait, wait. Really? You believe in lucky numbers? Oh, yeah. It's just like you know, good things tend to happen. On that is a good question, though. Yeah, for the YouTube vod watchers or anyone, do you believe in lucky numbers, and why? Because that is a. Uh, like I, I I don't I don't you know I I have noticed like um yeah and like and most people if they pick you know they play like, they play the lottery right and they just pick like their favorite numbers um no I I I don't believe in luck you want to know why I don't believe in lucky numbers it's actually a long rant but if you want to know I'll tell you ready. Think about it, man. And this is this is the truth. I'm not I'm not gonna go deep down the conspiracy uh, theory wells, but all numbers, right? All numbers assigned to you from birth, from anything, are systems of control. Think about it: your driver's license, street address, license plate on your car, yabba dabba dabba. They're all systems of control designed by the government to keep an eye on you, whether it's you know your social security number. Driver's license, address, Phantom Knights. Okay, we're getting OTK. But anyway, <laughs> like, all numbers are, even in this game, this game gives you a randomly generated player ID number. Now, why would they want to do that unless they want to control your information? Think about it. They want to know that player uh, 54219-6KB is, like, the best duelist in the world. And then, you know, they can, you know, spy on their decks, you know, keep an eye. Yeah, yeah. All numbers are systems of control. Even think about the month, the amount of money you make is a system of control, right? Are you with me, John? Like, let's say your boss is shafting you and you're only making 350 an hour, even though the state wage is 1250 an hour, you know, in Kansas. Because we're talking about Kansas here. They, that is a system of control where your boss is illegally shafting you by denying you what you're rightfully owed. Now, believe it or not, there are some people in Kansas who are getting paid 350 an hour, and it's illegal. No, they they are just being abused and lied to, and you know, dominated by the system of control. Now, let's say you know you happen to be, you know, white. <laughs> And, um, you know, lucky. You might be getting paid a salary. No, you might be getting paid a salary that is a seven-digit number. Right? And that's another system of control. You with yeah, seven-digit. By that, I mean million. See, they take more money. Taxes. Bingo. See, this guy's on the right track. Oh. Bingo. Chapter yeah. And I don't know what he means by that, but one thing I do know. <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> the one thing I do know. <laughs> the, the, nice, nice. That that you actually you reeled it in. I'm proud of you on that. The one thing I do know is that now is it fair that that guy's making a seven digit salary and that we're making three fifty an hour? Yes, it's fair because the person who's making that seven digit salary they earned it, and by earned it I mean they were born into it. <laughs> and I actually mean it's not fair. But the the point of my rant stands. All numbers, I don't believe in lucky numbers for one reason. All numbers, and if you don't learn anything from your uncle, 
Learn this. All numbers assigned to you by the government are systems of control designed to what? Keep you ex doing exactly what you're doing. They don't want the number to increase, you know, your wage. They don't want you to grow. They don't want you to succeed. They are designed to keep an eye on you, surveil you. This is a surveillance state. And control you. Now, the way to get a lucky number is to shatter that number and do something that is impossible. And by impossible, I mean, like, it's hard to do, you know, so. So, that's what I'm talking about. Um, uh, this hand's not bad. So, I'll set this and end the turn. But, yeah, that's why I don't believe in lucky numbers. But I am a math major. So I should throw that out there. Um, I've also worked with numbers a lot, a lot, a lot. And I used to be an accountant as well. So that's why I don't believe in lucky numbers. But then again, I take anything about numbers way too seriously. Oh yeah, did you know the number 69 can be reached by multiplying three by 23? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you know I can quote pi up to 25 decimals? Not really. I'm, not, I, I'm not that big. What's the, what's the number after four? No, 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 no. That's a true question. What's the next number of pi after four? It's five. five. Very easy. Now, I do know the next two are five and seven. I, I don't know. Those, like That's the only... That's as far as I got. Because like they asked me in, uh, when I was taking uh, Calculus uh, 4 up, up, up on the, in, uh, in uh, New York. Where I went to college, yeah, because, yeah, I went to New York, yeah. Um, but they asked me to memorize it up to four places. So, you know, 3.1457. Pep rally. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, hey, hey, did you ask, uh, did you ask, uh, what she's doing this weekend? Well, what she say she's doing? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Is it TOS? Yeah, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> if, uh, against uh, terms of service. Break sword? Wait, what? Bombs? <laughs> it, it, in Minecraft, we're playing Skyrim. <laughs> uh, we probably should play Halo. Yeah, and plus your mom's not here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One forty five. Yeah, uh, I have a bedtime. <laughs> All right, bro. Well, thanks for coming, uh, Sherelle with five R's. Oh, Jarrell. Oh, Judge. Oh, yeah, because that makes a big difference. Oh, she is? Oh, yeah, you can wave to her. I should look at chat right now. Um, oh no. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you want, you want to say hi? <laughs> Hey, she, I guess said, uh, see you later, Jarrell. She put all five R's. There you go. The, 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 the <laughs> all right. Bye, hey, bye, Iga. Thanks for the games. I appreciate it. Bro, who said bye, Jarrell? Oh, Iga, this, this, this person I was dueling against. I was they just, said it? Yeah, I was doing viewer duels, man. Bye, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Hmm. All right. A what? It's the church near. Near what? Not bad. Oh. In uh, New York. Yeah. Kavanaugh Church in New York, guys. Now, l luckily, Kavanaugh is a main street up there. I, I, I know, because I used to be a cab driver in New York. I go over to Fifth Street. I, I pulled that accent out of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, bruh. Uh, <laughs> I think that's yours, right? A Emily? I think that's her. Is it, is it not? Oh, 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 no, but yeah, she, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you are. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, that's, that's, that's yours, right? Yeah, yeah, that's your friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, Beyonce. There you go. That's my thing. Right? Um, yeah, you know, uh, what's her latest album? Hey, you mind if I get some of that popcorn? I'm cut. Called you what? Boy, if you little loaded, then I'll buy the best. How about that? Nice. Black. Black. Hmm. I don't like the loaded. Still loaded. Uh -huh. Ooh. Why is he dead? Wow, in Minecraft. And Yeah, in uh in in Starfield. Oh dude, that's sad. That's sad. I'm for you! <clears throat> uh a bridge quotes. Because, friends, like a spoon to be cooking that would be their perfect. Uh, yeah. Hey, yo. Uh, sour cream? Right. What's, uh, thank you. Uh oh, ooh pizza man, I I, I know right yeah yeah I guess get pizza she's just uh, she, I think she's gonna uh, watch and lay yes. lay down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> could could anyone order uh you know uh, Uber Eats for us you know we'll we'll send it across the street and then uh, you know not reveal our real address. Uh, yeah. Hey yo. No, just cause you eat a lot of meats. <laughs> wait, what? I think she did. Um, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I, I can, I can ask. Her. Pretty sure she did. Uh. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? It's hard. I put it here. Yeah, I might need to actually turn the camera this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you are. Um, no shirt, no shoes, no shirt. Service? I don't know. The one thing I know is uh, POS is okay with it. So let's see, Slizo. Nice. Very good. But I don't. Uh, pardon me. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, there are other people like watching the stream. So. Uh, hey, that's. I got nothing, nothing wrong with what you're saying. 
what, what, what's on your shirt? Hey, that's a that's an anime, right? Yeah. You know, I I only watch like one. I didn't even watch one full episode. I watched like half of that anime. I didn't watch. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I heard good things. I heard good things. It's um kind of slice of life. You know, man. You know, a lot of anime like that. Yeah. I heard good things. Really good things, actually. Huh? You mind if I have some popcorn? Did you, did you grab a bowl for me? Ooh. Yeah, bro, like, we worried about our own. Okay. Uh, what do they target here? Uh, or does this not target? No, it does. What did they target? I didn't see what they targeted. What's your opinion? <laughs> Ninja Mirror? No, 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 no. I'm playing uh I'm playing a uh in ranked and this deck is kind of uh, it's designed to troll. That, that's what this deck is. <laughs> yeah, this deck's completely different. So Hmm. It's it, it is weird. The one time I don't pick a ninja deck, we we face one. Why? Who's Ben Roethlisberger? Who's who, what's a quarterback? Nice, nice, bam! Look at that. You need a drop that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In in a uh, Starfield. Like no, I seriously like. I remember one day I was, I had such high energy, and um, I obviously had forgotten to take my medication that day. But I took it like inside, and I was just like, "Yeah, Arya, I tell something, something," and then I don't know. I just kind of walked off, and then I went straight to Diego's. And then I came back, and then we drove to. Uh... All right, we drove to uh, do adult stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've heard, I, I've heard guns are really easy to assemble. You know, in Call of Duty. You know, so you, yeah, you just buy the materials and you just kind of, you know, <laughs> modern warfare. Yeah. Uh, you know, I did hear they're bringing out a new uh, um, Call of Duty, though. You know, around uh, Black Friday, Christmas, supposed to be pretty good. Um, I've never been a big fan of Call of Duty. It's weird. You know, obviously, you guys are asking to play Halo. I play Halo. You know, it's. Uh, I mean, it's fine. You know, it's a good series. Like the art style's good. A lot of people like it, but uh. Hey, you know, it's Oh, tell me about it, bro. Like, what the? Alright, bro. Okay, that's. But, uh, yeah, that's like. Bro. Yeah. Uh, in Starfield. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, Call of Duty lobbies are. I'll tell you what, Call of Duty lobbies are more toxic than, uh. Um... No, they're more toxic than, you know, Trump tweet, uh, retweets. And that and that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot, you know. You know. Yeah, you know, I feel like uh, people should just respect each other and be done with it. Right, yeah. It's like, come on, bro. Yeah, bro. Right. Yeah, there's no need for all that, you know? So, yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I, I'm glad to see some restraint. I, 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 I know what I was thinking.
Alright. Alright. Frank. It is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, forgiveness is very key. You know, just throughout life. Uh, I'll banish extravagance. Bell Striker. Response. Aha! Book of Eclipse. Wow, that's a great card. Unfortunately for them, I'm not done. <laughs> Alright. Right! Ah, you see. You haven't even seen my final one, Goku. Look at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are you drinking? <laughs> to right? What are you doing? Oh, these are not desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, there's the dude. All right, nicely done. Yeah, this uh, this lets him get five cards from the deck. That's pretty good. Sorry, what? What? What are you talking about, dude? He said he said his health. You mean his life points? Yeah. No, no. I I I want it to be um yeah I'm saying what I'm gonna do what time is uh seven o'clock It is what it is. Ancient history, man. Who? Oh, you mean the uh, Five News New York cast? Yeah. In the, uh, the, 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 the Bronx News cast? You mean uh, Steve Patterman? Steve Jobs, Steve the Mime, Steve Gutenberg, and don't forget the best Steve, Steve Arcana. For who? Oh, this is uh, uh, Michael Jordan. Oh. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, if you guys are wondering, this is my homie Jay-Z, uh, his girl's Beyonce, and um... They about to make a new album. But, um, hey, all right now. <laughs> no, I mean like I mean they they they're both talented singers. What? Hey, they sing. Hey, hey. 
Yeah, yeah, you, you can freestyle. Let's hear a freestyle, yo. Okay, guys, he's gonna freestyle when he starts his own stream. In my in Minecraft, in Minecraft, we're, talk, we're, talk, we're talking about Minecraft. Oh, good. Private studio. Right next to, right at the corner of Luxembourg and Grand. Yeah, that's Right. <laughs> hey man, one thing I will say is the cheese here is pretty good. <laughs> um, I find baked potatoes to be very good actually. Very tasty. Hey, Jimmy, why don't you hit me some of those French fried potatoes? But why? If you lose the duel, you lose your soul. My voice gives me super strength. Holy oh shit, it really does. What? Oh, let's hear it, let's hear it. Crank that beat up. Uh, is this music copyright? Yo. Yo, I spin the block, then I hit it in reverse. The curse get worse. You gonna be in my plot to be under. Yo, yo, you already know. Next. Rail five R's. Uh. Oh. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the main part of the chorus. We already sang that part we sang before us. that OTK you're done today OTK all day all day all day OTK all day all day game over TJL TJO is GG hey yo scoop scoop them up scoop them scoop them up scoop them scoop them up yo Say, fuck your granny. No. No. Wait, no. What? Bro, 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 what the fuck? Hell, hell no, nigga. Hell no. Unless you a granny fucker. That's the one with, that's the one with him. Yeah. That's pretty good, boys.
Yo, I pulled my ice cream truck up next to whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> hey, 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 whoa, 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 Bro, bro. Oh wait! No. I have to end stream. I have to end stream. End stream. End stream. No! No! Restart. Hey, Restart. Oh, yes. Let me. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 We run that back. We run that back. Yeah. Reverse that ice cream truck. Never buy it. Don't buy it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that was clean, bro. Six feet under. Yo. 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 He was alive and he was not buried him in a plot. He got in the and we got he got what was coming it's called karma watch out now it's coming you better not get shot yo yo street justice oh yo Give me that ring. <laughs> <laughs> I took that ring like I'm LeBron. Oh, oh, on, come on. On gone. Took that ring like Yeah. Hey, that was clean, bro. Dang. Man, Man on, are you? Calm down, sir. Calm down. <laughs> right. Yeah, bro. Uh -huh. Yo. I'm gonna let you off on this one. I, just, uh, I can't think of none. Hey. You off the dome touch. Hey, y'all want me to turn on Halo though? I can't. No, okay. Yeah, because I'm just kind of chilling. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to lower this window though. It's getting hot. I don't know. <laughs> the why we need to speak. Too bad we're streaming from McDonald's, the Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, this beat's cool, man. That's where I'm. He's over there sleeping. <laughs> oh, God. What? Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Hey, bro. <laughs> what? 
Yo. Hey, 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 yo. No, nigga. No, nigga. Get that. Yo, run it back. Run it back. On the bod, on the cod, on the fish. I forgot what you said. Cod, the fish. Yo. <laughs> I get fried like cod on God because I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, no, run the beat back for a second. Hey, don't worry, it's prescribed. It's all legal. Yeah. Right, right, right. Wisconsin high legal. Yo, got a whole new kind of cheese. Let me please ya. Oh. Yeah. Black people stuff, black people stuff, uh, yo, yo, yo. Nigga, 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 and yo, you about to get sent it. Send it a reply. It's called Bro the Die. That's right. We got a plot for ya, nigga. Wow. It's 10 feet deep. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Yo. 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 Hey, yo. No pain, no gain, all flare, all dare. Let's go on to. Oh, we go into utopia. Hey yo. Hey yo. Knock, 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 uh, knock. Yo, sticky stuff, sticky situation. Yo, time to play PlayStation. Yo, 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 hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, 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 yo. Hey, Mike Tyson, I'm Chris Hansen. Take a seat. <laughs> oh, talking about fries and chili. Fries and chili. One, two, combo. Watch out. Uh oh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Got you looking silly. Oh, yeah. Because your rhyme's whack, and ours is fire. Yeah, I got you looking silly. The rhymes is wet. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, what? Yeah, I'm good. Well, do, 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 rewind the phone. What? Discord? <laughs> no, seriously. I don't know. I mean, I ran out of. That was the first two ones. Right? Yeah, for real, I bro. I can't find it. I can't figure out. I gotta find it.
The only freestyle I have found is the one I've got a coupon for, bro. You've been bringing the heat, man. I mean, you probably should. Right. I mean, honestly, you're doing pretty good, man. This is a new beat. Fire. Fire. That's to leave you black like charcoal. The walk, front, fry it up and stir it, and then you worry. it. Don't worry about it. Uh, yo, yo, general, general, yo, 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 yo. You're trying. You're trying. Here we go. Until the flow. What the is this? A lure that's pure garbage. Real Nick. Yo. Oh. All night. Watch out. Hey, why you trying to on my girl? I'ma make you hurl. I'ma put you, yo. Oh, crack back, crack back. Watch out, watch out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't fuck with that, on that. Yeah. All day. All day. All day. Check it. Hey, hey yo. Hey, no. hey yo. What the? Yo. Oh, 
What? Fucks them over as it no. doesn't give them their diapers. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, check this. Ah. Oh. Wait, what? They, oh, they can't hear you? They can't hear us? Is something new? Man, this like mic is trash, trash, bro. Like they can hear the game. Damn. Oh. Damn, this is probably good. Oh. Man, what the fuck? Yeah. Man, this fucking trash. Man, hold up. Where's the master door? Man, lower this shit. Check in. Uh, I got a big ass dick. Dick. Oh. Hey, I ain't dumb, bitch. I'll show you Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah, we... For the record, man, out of the... Door everything. Back. Door them. Maybe, uh... Click, clack. Click, clack. Click, clack. Happy duck. Trying to pluck. Yo. No, not happy duck, though. He's trying to pluck that... Flower, power, watch no. out, malware, shower, in the shower, chair, everywhere, don't you care? You feeling it in the ass. Yo, everywhere, everywhere, you feel my in ass. the <laughs> Wait, yeah. hey. I was fucking coming for a Ooh. Oh, yeah. I was getting ripped. Of that ass. Oh, oh, uh, Yo. Check it. Check it. Yo. Here we go. And she smelled like. Hold on, I'm not done. On the B plug. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. <laughs> <Nothing. Hey. laughs> your, your, your girl was just like, what y'all doing? <laughs> Wait, now I actually what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll explain, like, <laughs> no, I will explain, hold up. Oh, do you hear me? Wait, oh, it's kind of a good Yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of a good thing. Like, honestly, I hope, I hope, I hope no one can hear us. Like, the fact that no one heard the last hour is kind of a good thing. No. Oh. Well, how when your computer's broken? Oh, thank God. Did, have to did, pay for that other did, one? did your oh, brother no, did your brother jailbreak it yet? Thirty five. Oh, only thirty. Oh, that ain't bad. All right. <laughs> what? Ooh. Funky, funky, like niggas who don't wash their meat. Hey, yo, yo, take a fucking shower every day by the hour. Yo, sure. yo, so Axe body spray is not a shower in a can. Axe body spray is not a shower in a can. Axe body spray is not a shower in a can. Yo. Hey, but she's clean. She's clean because she takes up. Yo, lean cuisine. She's lean and clean. You know what I mean? He's all ready for the. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. We were not talking about Beyonce, by the way. Yo. 
Yo, that ex went to. Yeah, Kim Kardashian is the ex. Yo, bitch ass. Yo, Kim K, all day. Let's play. Let's go. Yo, yo, I hate, I hate, I hate the fake. Yo, fake people belong with me. Just, just, just wanna take them out, take them out to the mount, to the pout, take them to the. They all eat fake for the clout. clout. Fake for the clout. Oh man, I knew it. I was All right, feeling don't it. Join, don't I was join feeling it. Yeah, yeah, it's probably not anymore. I wish I don't know. Man, this mic's trash. Oh, oh yeah, because I turned it down. Gonna, we're still gonna see. Yeah, because I turned yeah, it down. So damn. Yeah, yeah, and then go grab your. Hold up. Oh yeah, because she's talking to you. Man, hold up. I'm turning. It. Oh, it's all the way down to two, bro. Hey yo. I offer promotions. Um, uh, thanks. All right, go ahead. You need to talk to her. You can pull up your phone. Bruh. What you need to say? I guess I can type it for you. Bruh, that's whack. Oh yeah, yeah. I, well, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know the password. Exactly. Like your mom literally just came in here and put it in the mess. That's that's the only reason I'm able to stream right now. That's a thing. Mountain. What? In the <laughs> Boy, the things you see in hey, gold. Right. Yeah. Hey, that was some good freestyle though, yo. I'm pointed this way. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna end stream here and though in about like probably like can't even go. fifteen. This might be the last duel. Yeah, this might be the last duel. Sure. <laughs> oh man. That was bad. Well let me turn it this way. Oh, Christ. Thank you. Nice of you, nephew. Whoa. Six. She 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 replied D's and I think that's a question mark emoji. Uh Shorty got shot. Uh uh Shorty got shot with the truth. Look here, Ruth. I'm about to Shorty got shot. The Bible. Yo, yo. Yo yo high and dry yo yo you said she did yes she did yes she did yo yeah 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 yo 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 femur the kid was femur let me tell you about the bone i gotta pick with ruth the bonus femur uh uh and speaking of femur you know what it's connected to yeah, that toe. I don't know. What's yo, it connected to? Yo. Yo. <laughs> yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. It's all good. So does Sam L. Jackson. Yo. 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 Hey. hey yo watch out patrol hey yo patrol hey yo patrol watch out cross the street like up and you don't get shot just because you see the flag don't make him stop yo yo i control your minds like i control those cars oh that's because i'm dropping straight bars yo yo Yo, what you got? What you got, Hood Wolf? Yo, yo. Sorry, Jarrell. Hey, what is it? What is this emoticon? Snake tentacle? What is that? Is that hand size? Yo, bro. <laughs> there you go. Bro, what? we got that big car type. Beat. Yo, that's that anaconda emote. <laughs> 
and then cook it. Yo, the Yo, span cooks his meat. It. Yo. My ball slipped out on camera <laughs> LeBron in the NBA 20. Yo, kids are so big. Out. They're so big they can't be contained. Why the fuck are we talking oh, about? oh God, bro. LeBron's got some big balls. He bounces them every day. Bro. Yo, he learns to dunk. He learns to play. He learns to slay. Oh, slay. let's watch this sweet dunk. Let's watch this replay. Yo. 2019 yeah, finals. Have I don't know, oh, but this nigga be carrying every nigga in Cleveland. Uh, yo, no, yo, his balls are so big, he carried the entire Cleveland state and city and nation but, to a franchise. Yo, yo, everybody in Cleveland got carried by the big balls of LeBron. Yo, this nigga said, fuck the fire nation. Avatar, <laughs> next to Airbender, get Winder, get Tinder, get Return to Cinder. Oh, yo, 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 I butted this beat before you did. Hell yeah. Yo. Yo, 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 y'all haters got no class. You jealous of my nigga. And you ugly bitch. Yo, 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 yo. Wait, who said I did, yo. Hey, yo, hey, yo, that's how you say it. Get some respect on my nigga. Yo, y'all haters be good. Yo, I don't care. That's what's clean. That was clean, nigga. Yo, 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 yo. Wisconsin hood niggas go hard. Wisconsin. Wait, I thought we lived in Colorado. Whatever. Wait, don't we live? We live in Minecraft. Online our addresses. Yeah. Yo, 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 I'm drawing my card. Uh, uh, uh. They call me the CEO of Subway the way I was messing with these kids. The fuck, Jared? Why? Yo, he went to Jared, get married, get parried, get carried, get cherry, get fairy, get parry, marry, dairy, parry, airy, jerry, get in the, in the, and get, and, uh, yo, yo. Carry my cross across the road. Yo, yo, bread dry as fuck. Yo, yo, bread dry as fuck. Yo, yo, rhymes dry as fuck. Yo, yo. I've been a nut on your butt. Hey. <laughs> yo, yo, that's how dry your bread is, nigga. You need his nut. You need his nut to wet your bread, nigga. This shit is. Oh, All right, I'll putt. In Minecraft, we're let's give a peanuts. golf putt. Golf putt that nut into the butt. Into we little gonna shut y'all up. Cut with our rhymes. It's flies and chimes and dimes and all in the. <laughs> Yo, my nigga about to spit. Get ready. My nigga about to spit. Get ready. This is the part of the chorus. Yo. This is the part of the core is uh and a nut on teeth. Hey, why you a teeth? Oh I'm false. Yeah. 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 Wait, fucking you while you're asleep. Grave and I don't condone that. Yo disclaimer. Maybe if you're watching this. Yo. I meant nothing that I said. Yo. Yo. Um anyone who's gonna clip any child molestation thing? No, that Yo. And, uh, this is... Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Oh. And, and I'm flood with the blood. Not really, because I don't know gangs. And yeah. I know that you could in the flood when you go to blood. The one thing I know is the... But Yo, I rap <laughs> LAC Almighty. Yo, law abiding, get chiding, get biding, get pining, get dining, get Joe, Joe Biden, Biden on yo! the phone. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Uh, yo.
I'm gonna take my horse to Old Town Road and ride to Lane. But, yo, yo, giddy up. My yo. Girl, it's <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> hey, yo. Wait, I'm the horse. I'm the horse. Of course. Oh, yeah. This yeah. Of course. No school, though. Oh, that, hey, that was clean. Yo, how many LPs are there? Yo, hey, red eyes. Speaking of red eyes, I'm high. No. Oh. I don't do that. If I do, I'm going to get yelled at by I, my I couldn't even. Body. I couldn't even say that with a straight face. Na, 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 na. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. yo, yo. I bay token. I'm at base token. Yo, here's an opera. Uh, 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 we need somebody who can do high notes. Alec, come in. My niggas get high, all die on the fly. They fly, they uh, fly themselves until the my yo, my nigga was just busting the opera. Get into the shop, because I'm taking your rhyme, bitch. Yeah, hey, on, yo, 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 yo. Speaking of bitch, I'm about to switch it up. Uh. You done up. Uh, yo. This protector works. Where's the microphone? Oh, that. Uh, the microphone. No. It's supposed to show, like, right there. You see that? You see it's a spike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Check it. Yeah. No bank of them. This protects? Like Wait, what? Oh, I yo. This guy. Or this guy. Yo. Check it. He's gonna do yo. 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 Yo, Jedi, I'm taking your lightsaber. You not of the same in the... My name's not Arion. That's Jarrell. <laughs> hey, yo, Jarrell. Yo. 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 Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Anna Ken. You in another galaxy. Star Wars get chores, get boards, get fours, get floors, get floors, get floors, get floors, get floors, get floors. Yo, get on the Jersey shores, cause you buried in the ocean tonight by my rhymes. Oh, yo. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, yeah, we don't discriminate. Yo, 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 this guy is gay. Yo, hey, every day. Hey, 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 
Hey. Uh, this nigga eats fucking popcorn seeds. What the fuck is wrong hey, with you? Yo, what the yo, this nigga eats popcorn seeds, bro. Popcorn seeds, the house, only bro. seeds I eat. Yo, seed on your beans, yo, bro. I don't. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Hey, yo, they the found fentanyl up the child. Hey, yo, cut York. the vod. Hey, yo. Little did they know it was me. Yo. In Skyrim. And yo. Yo. Hashtag in Space Gate. Yo. Uh, yo. Yo, Starfield. Yo. yo. Hey, that Jersey Shore's around is clean, though, I bro. I was like, I buried you in the Jersey over. Shore. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yo. You actually beat this dude with 11,000 LP? Hell yeah, That's bro. Hard. Hell yeah. Like, my monster was all the way at six grand, so I was like, no. yo. Man, he, he couldn't I'm do jack. I'm gonna slam my balls. Yo. 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 Hey. Uh, I don't. Hey, no. All right, you want to say bye to your girl? About to end. Hi, Beyonce. Yo. Little do y'all know. Ooh. Oh. All right, guys. We'll uh, appreciate it. Um, you know, we've got it. We've got to end stream tonight. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for being here. I'll see you all. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Yeah. yeah. Fifteen. Yeah, flood mod four team. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Hey yo, yeah, water. The, yeah. Uh, truth. Gonna yeah. flood her with your truth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey yeah yeah yeah. Here you go. 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 Hey, that's pretty water. important. Uh, That's pretty important. Hey, yo, that was clean. Hey, yo, you should have rapped about that. You, you should have rapped about that, bro. That was clean. That would have gone good with the beat. Like, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and who else? Who else? There he is. Yeah, I know. Uh... <laughs> All right. But um yeah, one thing I did want to say is thanks to uh yeah, Iger for the raid. Um and for we had a few new chatters. Um yeah, in effect Shuad Luti. Uh I forgot the name of the oh wait, their name was in kanji, but in the viewer duels, like somebody was in the lobby, so appreciate uh, them for that. And yeah. So yeah, the last hour the last hour and a half of the stream kinda of turned into freestyle. But it's all good. And uh Bye bye. Um, yeah, Tim, we might want to make the last hour and a half. We might want to edit that out. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Fire. You, you want to wave bye to your girl? Yeah, there you go. Yeah.